Jordan, you did it! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hi, Alex. Welcome on in. How are you? Hi, Jordan! Welcome on in. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hi, Maris. Good to see you. How y'all doing today? <clears throat> Hi, pup. Welcome on in. Hello. How are all my pals today? <clears throat> What's happening? Welcome on by. Hello. So, um, Maris, question. I think you ordered a pin. I think you like wrote a little message, right? Did you? Did you, I think? I'm curious. Hi, Alex. I'm doing good today. Oh, my uterus is murdering me again today, but I'm determined to make it a good day. Hi, Sloth. How are you? Welcome on in. You did? Okay. So I'm curious. Uh, first time ever sending anything from like Essie. They went out with the mail yesterday. Um, did you, did you get like a notification yet? I'm just curious how this all works. Like when everything hits. Yeah, the mail carrier took them yesterday. Hi, Magic. Hey, Ryan. Welcome on in. How you doing? I'm so glad to see you. I hope everyone's having the best day. Riot Tilda. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. Pretty awesome. Good. I'm so glad. That's so good. Hi, Kristen. Magic. Castorina. Welcome on in, my friends. Nature Girl. Good afternoon, Lena. Thank you. I appreciate you. While we're still warming up and getting ready, I'm going to go ahead and run my one minute ad so we don't have to look at ads for like a while. Like I'm going to go ahead and run it right now. Um, So it's like gone. Actually, I'm going to run three minutes just because like get it out of the way for like an hour, like almost three hours or something stupid. Uh, I work not if I'm place. Oh, Lydia, I'm sorry. I hope your day goes fast. Star, good to see you. Yes. Oh my God. You got it. Okay. You got a notification yesterday and a notification in the app. Got it. That's amazing. I'm so glad. Right, Magic? I know I, I have so many scarves because I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm 31. I'm a millennial as true as they come. So yes. I'm so excited you're live right now. I started my circle this morning. I'm going to crawl up on couch most of the day. I feel that like yesterday and today, my cramps were just like debilitating. It's so bad. My energy is just tank because of it. Mimo, welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. <clears throat> You're doing a test tomorrow. Aw, I hope you do well, though. Good luck to you. Yeah, it says like... It says in transit for, for like all of them that I sent yesterday. And then someone ordered one yesterday and I'm sending it today. That's exciting. Hello! I like to check with people to make sure they get tracking and everything, right? I'm just like, what is going on? Like who, what? I've never done it before. It was honestly really easy, though. I was pretty surprised. Excited for my Benjamin pin. I know, Mimo, I'm so excited. You take depot, so period, so no period for you. All the depot shot. I wish that I could do like the shot or anything like that. I have an IUD and honestly, like it's about time for it to come out because I've had it for like seven years, I think. And I want it gone because I'm pretty sure it's making my cramps worse. But I only time will tell. It's really hard to know because like I had fibroids, I had them removed and then I, they found, long story short, had an IUD, it slipped, they found fibroids because of it. Um, I had surgery to have it, like both of them removed at the same time because they couldn't get it. And I got an IUD again because that's like the type of birth control that I have to have. And I don't know if not having it will like be less crampy for me. You know, because I have like I knew the fibroids were the cause of the cramps before, but now I don't know. So I'm like, what the heck? Jiminy, welcome on in. Hi, Re, Welcome on in. We are doing The Sims 4 today. I think we're going to finish up the or try to finish up. Um, No, you can do it seven years. Um, In Europe, it's seven years. In the United States, it's five years. Um, A lot of times when you go to like Planned Parenthood or something like that or other clinics, they'll say, oh, you can have it for seven years and you're good to go. And they give you like the paperwork and stuff. But you can have it for up to seven years. <clears throat> At least the Morena IUD. Um, I know, right, Magic? Oh, my God, I'm praying. Madeline, welcome on in. But I'm thinking we're going to finish up the uh, the Spencer Kim Lewis household today or something, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed it goes by to plan. <clears throat> but yeah, I went out like five years. I went to go have it taken out. And they're like, oh, when did you get it put in? Blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, it's actually seven years now. You can keep this because I was going to get a new one anyway that time. This is like in 2020, I'm pretty sure. Um, Yeah, it was in 2020. So yeah. 
Uh, no, wait, no, it was like an extra year. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yes, it is time for me to have it taken out. <clears throat> Hi, Kemla, I'm doing good. Welcome on in and welcome on in everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Hope you feel well soon. Me too. My uterus is so rude. As you just make it easy because the labels for you and just print it and throw in the mail. Exactly. Like I was looking at other ways to sell like through coffee or something because I know Etsy does like a lot of the charges, but I found that like the payoff was that Etsy, like they make it so easy for the shipping and stuff and they don't make you declare like a flat shipping rate. For people like they do on like coffee or something like that because that was something that I was running into problems with and like the like it just to me it's worth it because they make it so easy um when when I start recording gameplay and what made you start um back in 2012 I started playing games and everything like on Twitch and I was a part of Twitch I was like a big League of Legends player and League of Legends was like super big in the esports community and I played like World of Warcraft I played a game called Ion on here for a while um Minecraft was the first game that I played and then I was like building houses back oh god back in like 2018 2019 for like my friends um, like just whatever with whatever packs that they ended up having and then just to like do things for them just to like build and have something to do and whatever. And my friend was like, hey, you should start streaming it because why not? And then it was pretty much history from there on out. And here we are three, almost three years later in March that I'll be, I'll be I'd will be i have been full time. So my Twitch journey before like I really started streaming was like really on and off again. I was like kind of stream here, stream there, you know, wasn't really serious about it, but enjoyed it. But yeah, so that's it. Hi, TV. Oh my God, night. How are you? KK, welcome on and I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for coming by. Hello, Blair. I'm so glad to see you. I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, yeah, I am feeling like I am wearing lead shoes today. Whew, my cycle kicks my butt, like absolutely terrible. But I am going to play The Sims. We're going to vibe because we take life by the jewels <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna have a good day i'm determined i'm oh my god got your first lead for my new area for work finally yay that's amazing oh my god yes lydia we looked at it not yesterday because i took yesterday off due to like pain and stuff but like um by the beans thank you magic see i get it yep we take life by the beans <laughs> that's it that's what i'm talking about honestly though um, on the 10th, so like on Tuesday, we went over and like we we had like conspiracy hour and like we went through and like we talked about all of the things on like the the little thing that they posted and like all that. What the what I think the pack is going to be generations. I also think that one of the kits is going to be like a lingerie kit, like under like underwear, like nightwear kind of stuff like that. I think one of the kids is going to be a lingerie wear one, like a cast kit. And then I think it's going to be a generation style expansion pack. Like I have, I'm pretty confident in that. I have no idea though. Um, I've been like really confident about things before. And then I've been like way off the mark. Like think among us. Like when I accuse people, oh my God, I can't wait to steal people's teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding, KK. Hi. Oh, rotten lady. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm hoping for generation type expansion. I really like the game, the family gameplay, right? I'm really hoping, especially like with we, um, so on the 31st, they're going to do like their big sim stream where they like reveal a whole bunch of stuff. So like in a couple weeks, we'll be seeing that. But like, I would love for them to like, okay, so here's my theory. I've got theories. Um, they said in the first part of like infants are coming January 17th. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. I don't I don't know. It's really hard to say. There's so many theories floating around right now. KK, I'm like, oh my God. I hope that I honestly think, here's my theory though. So like, we're gonna have like the big live stream on like Tuesday the 31st. And then on January 4th, or February 4th, sorry, is when we see it's the, it's the Sims 23rd anniversary. So my theory is we'll either see it in like the first part of February, maybe in time for like Valentine's Day or March. Because they said like the first like quarter 
of like 2023. That's my theory. I have no idea. I have no clue. <laughs> I know Valentine's babies, right? I I don't know. Um, I know, seriously, we need to finish the 100 baby challenge. I'm not ready for this. Seriously, do I play The Sims 3? I play The Sims 3 every once in a while. I do have all the packs, though. I haven't played it in a bit, but I do have it. Um, my origin says their servers are down. Anyone else have this problem? I won't find my, I won't find your games anymore. No, I just loaded mine up. I saw something in the Sims community on Insta that they're coming the 17th, but I feel like it might be an update ready for them. Exactly. Sometimes they'll do like the pre-updates and stuff like that. So yeah, sometimes they will do that as like a buffer. Maris, you're so right. Connor! Connor. Seven months. We're getting close to a year. Love you so Thank much. You. And I think about you every day. So freaking much for this seven months. Oh my God, we're we're all, we're getting every day is closer to a year. I am so excited for that. Welcome on in. I really, really, really appreciate that. Welcome. Uh, see, there's no CD drive. You can get CD drives that like plug into your computer and stuff. I know sometimes if you have like all of the like CD key codes, you can also do that. Um, yeah. Like you can digitally register them, but I don't know how it works. I'm not sure because I I had all the CDs once upon a time ago. Then looking back, I gave them all to my cousin when she was on maternity leave and stuff because she was on bed rest and I wanted her to have all the packs and then I never thought of it ever again. So then I had to purchase all of them on like Steam and stuff and then that's been like a whole thing, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they connect via USB, maybe even USB-C. Yep. Oh, you registered all these CD packs on Origin? Good to know. Good to know, Star. See, I, I I know that sometimes, like, when you have those old games with those CD keys, they'll totally, like, let you register them, and then you can have, like, your digital copy of it, and then you're good. Especially at this day and age, like, my computer doesn't even have a CD drive on it either. Like, I'm with you. Windows 7 says it's trash for some reason, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I'm not very, like, I do a lot of tech things for work, but I'm not, like, techy, if that makes sense. Like, I have friends for that. <laughs> like my my brother uh, I get it and like Michael is definitely more of the tech savvy person which is funny because like I've been around computers a lot more and more often than he has but like he's more like research rabbit hole and I'm just like uh I get overwhelmed with information <laughs> what are we what renovation are we doing we are working on the Spencer Kim Lewis household right KK I've got friends for that I ask questions <laughs> I play, listen, I play The Sims. <laughs> I know we, we, I, we all need those friends. Hi, Chi Chi. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good today. Um, the, yeah, the internet is, yes. Yep. That is, that's true. Googling is, I'm not good at Googling though. Like for some, like, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm too broad for stuff. Your best friend is your tech guy. I call him for everything, right? Understandable. I'm so behind on modern tech to be honest, but uh, but I seem to be one of the few in my office that knows how to do a fax. I want to arm wrestle fax machines because I hate fax machines with every. Oh my god, I hate it. Fax machines are terrible. <sighs> Sims squirrels, not tech squirrels, right? Simbolina, how are you? Welcome on in. <laughs> I know, like it's literally like the most archaic technology. It's like, just use a scanner and like send that stuff. Almost as it's seriously, I would argue that it's probably worse than like dial up internet because like you have to get the number exactly right when you're dialing that stuff in. Where choice and placement in Google can definitely make a difference. Yes, right? Like, it's really funny. My ex-boyfriend um his name was zach we used to call him zoogle because he's really good at googling things for some reason he just speaks computer apparently beep boop beep boop <laughs> i hate them too believe me right oh it's so bad mm. i remember when i was working in finance because that's what i was doing before like i started being like i was full-time on twitch i was working an office job where i had to fax like information like insurance stuff whatever blah 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 you name it to like clients or to uh like certain companies and whatever and it was a nightmare and i remember there was one time where i was trying to send a stupid fax to a stupid 
company and it took me like three days because the, it, the, it wouldn't like answer and it was so stupid i'm like this is uh, just let me mail it to you because this would literally be faster and cheaper probably i don't know yeah it took me it took me three days because like it would their line was always busy and like it was like the worst thing in the world my degrees in human services i feel that right um when i worked as a bank teller i had to fax them all the time it's so 80s just stop occupation can help a lot i'm a software engineer i've really got good at googling anything now that's true because seriously he was uh he's a software engineer too like yep that's what he does and he definitely was the googling master listen he is like a savant though he was he's the type of person like straight out of the womb was just good with technology because he built his first computer at eight and he's like 35 or 36 now he's a, a handful of years older than i am he's like 35 or 36 years old he at eight like i'm not even i'm not even exaggerating eight years old he built his first computer and he had like light uh like his parents were just there like they yeah seriously Mimo. i'm talking like <laughs> Just me Googling, uh, help a uh, computer for think things. Uh, why computer make beep boop beep boop skirt noise? <laughs> That's me Googling stuff. Or why are my brakes going? How do you spell that? <laughs> skirt. <laughs> we got a computer in early mid nineties and late nineties. We got the internet, right? We, we didn't have, I remember our first computer was Windows Millennium Edition. Windows ME. It was worse than Windows 2000 somehow. It's text to speech, right? Honestly, though, <laughs> that's fair. Just let the AI take care of it from there. This is perfect, Nemo. I love that for us. Computer hungry. Let's just feed it floppy disks. Um, at eight, I was launching games using MS DOS, and I felt like a hacker, right? Or oh my god, don't even get me started on like using uh like programming our MySpace profiles. Like all of us thought that we could be like software engineers or like uh, web designers or whatever. I remember that was like a big thing. Oh my goodness. However, that did lead into like careers for people though too. I do know that. HTML, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't get the, com I remember like some of the first games that I got on like CD-ROM were like Diablo, Diablo 2. And then we also did, what the heck was it? Um, the Pokerom ones. You guys remember Pokerom? Hi, Phoenix Jewel. Welcome on in. I hope that you're doing good. How was your stream? Beans, make sure you go give him a follow. Go give him a follow. Fill us in. What's happening? We are just getting our booty started. Um, we're chit-chatting a little bit, talking about like, you know, old and how old we are and stuff like that. Um, and then we're going to renovate the Spencer Kim Lewis house. Seriously, Pokerom, I loved uh, those. I remember the day we got a color printer. It was like a big day for our family. Hi! Oh, a full house in a Oasis Springs. That's so cool. I like that. That's amazing. Thank you so much. But yeah, like, look, do y'all remember Pokerom? Like, I remember these, this is like before or like right around like when GameCube games, because like remember like, oh my God, the discs are so small. How does it work? Nintendo was it. I'm just saying with their really cool tech. Like, so cool. I loved these. I like, it, this is taking me like on a nostalgia journey right now. And I want these again. I'm 31. Listen, work on, hi, welcome on in. They're like, look at the Pokerom. I had like Pikachu. I think I had like Squirtle and Charmander. I had like a handful of them, but I knew you could get like a lot of them, obviously. Oh, I had the Lady Ball one. I do remember that. Like for real, I had Lady Ball. I do remember that. The tiny, yes, the tiny GameCube disc. These ones were about the size of GameCube discs, except they like cut off the sides of them for whatever stupid reason. Like, I don't, oh my God, I remember this. Holy crap, got to learn them all. And they had like little like quiz games where you could like learn stuff though. It was like an educational-ish style thing. But it was like branded on Pokemon because listen, they spoke. 
our language. A, a computer game out of a cereal box? What? Oh my God. You've never seen these before? Oh my God. They were like my entire personality and they had like the plastic sleeves and stuff. I wish that I would have kept these. Honestly, like for real. Rosé, right? Oh my God. I had like probably five or six of different ones. I, I know I had Pikachu because like that was my everything. I had, I know I had Lady Ba. I think I had all of the starters. I don't remember. But yeah, I do remember that. Right? The nostalgia is so big right now. You had so many of those, right? Okay, my, listen, my family never got like boxed cereal. It was like the generic stuff. No shame, no shame. But like, I never got the, the stuff out of the boxes. Very close in age, right? Yes, yeah, I just turned 31 in December. So I'm like right there. Oh, so fun. Uh, only in a Game Boy Pokemon stuff. Oh, I love that. The, that honestly was like it though. It's so good. Some of my favorite memories. Oh, 32 in March. I love that. Yeah, Michael's turning 32 in February. Like next month, actually. Oh God, I got to think of a present. Wolfenstein with a Chexman hero and green slime baddies. Wait, like return to Kappa Wolfenstein? Because we had that game. Like we didn't get it out of a cereal box. Uh, I grew up on bags of cereal, so no toys, right? Magic, same. Like we had the, the Walmart brand. Honestly, I still buy that stuff because like that was it. Oh, no, like the original. Yeah, we had return to Castle, Castle Wolfenstein. I do remember my brother Aaron was playing that a lot. Used to steal my brother's Eevee all the time. Oh, actually, you know, I was thinking back. My love for creating like worlds and doing things and like uh like simulation style things begins on when I used to because there was this um it's a real time strategy game. So like it's like you have like your little base and then you like go to war, kind of like StarCraft, Warcraft, that kind of stuff. It was called Red Alert. I remember this. And I used to make maps for my brother all the time. And same in Warcraft 2 and 3. Like that. And then The Sims obviously was like a thing. And like, yes. So it started very young for me to like want to create stuff. Generic cereal is just so much cheaper and it tastes the same. I think it tastes better. I don't know if it's like nostalgia, but I honest to God think it, think it tastes better. Like, except for, like, the generic um, Reese's peanut butter puff thingies, the Reese's puffs, because those taste like hot doo-doo on a warm summer day. Not that I know what that tastes like, but that's what I would imagine it would taste like. It just doesn't taste very good. Whatever they're doing, it's not working, and Reese's puffs are, like, better. There's certain things that you just don't buy generic, and that's one of them. Bag cereal all the time and only name brand stuff was on sale, on sale, right? Like, we never even did that. Like, cause my mom had like, in like we had the bags and then in the nineties, they used to sell these like plastic containers and they'd like a pink lid on it and you'd flip it up and then you could like pour the cereal in there. And like, you had like your sealed like plastic container that you keep your cereal in. So you don't have like the bag and it just stored better. Um, That's a really specific memory. <laughs> so, so. Yes, Command and Conquer was never your jam. I loved it though. Hi, Natasha, welcome on in. We're just chit chatting for a little bit. Yeah, I think it, I think it was like Tupperware. I remember they had like pink lids. Oh my god, Warcraft was my. That's where the name Zephyrin comes from, actually, because like I remember it was like really really early, really 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 early um like release of War Warcraft World of Warcraft, and I came up with my name for the character that I played at that point. Hi, Natasha. Welcome on in. We are walk we're walking down like memory road with like old technology and stuff, but we're going to play The Sims 4 today and um we are renovating the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Mavrilare, but it didn't it doesn't fit me, right? Oh my god, I feel that. I just kept the name Zephyrin for years. And honestly, um, I don't know if I if I knew that I would have been like full time on like Twitch and everything if I would have kept the name Zephyrin or if I would have done something else because I don't know. I don't know. You know, like because it's been it's been real interesting. <laughs> I like it though. Thanks. Hi. Hi from work. Hi, Rosie. I hope you're doing good. If Warcraft was my favorite thing, Smithers, welcome on in. Happy Thursday. I'm so glad to see you. But then I loved, they had like this map builder on Warcraft 3. I still haven't played like Warcraft 3 Reforged because apparently that was like a hot stinking mess. 
Like I follow uh, a professional Warcraft 3 player called Follow Grubby. His name is Grubby. I don't think he says it's Follow Grubby, but he's like way back from like the early, early 2000s pro Warcraft scene, which is like weird to like talk about and stuff. And I think he did like Starcraft stuff. But I remember him from way back then. And then I found him on Twitch one day when I like had like around the time. No, it was when I got laid off. No, it was before then. I was between jobs. It was before I started my office job that I had that I had before I started Twitch. And I remember I was sick and then I was like on Twitch just looking up people and then I found him and I was like, oh my God, it's that guy from way long ago. And then he can't even look at Reforged because things are just way too different, I guess. Um, my boyfriend has been playing WoW Classic for a bit because retail is not good, but I guess the new expansion is really good. That's what I've heard. Like Dash, soup, that's where I met Dash like years and years ago, like almost like eight or nine years ago now on WoW. And he's like... Oh, the expansion's really good because sometimes I like chit chat with them and stuff. But yeah, apparently it is good. I haven't touched WoW in a bit, mostly because I know my relationship with video games uh, goes down the rabbit hole very quickly. And it's not good because I uh, have a, 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 an addictive personality when it comes to games. Stopped after Draenor. I, I I don't remember what one like it was when I stopped. Uh, I think it was Warlords of Draenor. I'm pretty sure. I think maybe did Legion come after Draenor? I think because I remember hating the fact that you had like your own. I can't remember what it was called, like your own base. I think that was Legion is when I stopped. I'm like pretty sure. Um, and then I pretty much haven't like touched it ever since. Cause I hated the fact that like you had your own like base and like your own camp and stuff. The concept is cool, but then like it felt so isolated and I'm a social gamer. Like I like to play games with people, but yeah, like I hear that classic is really good, but I didn't do it because I don't know. Draenor made it antisocial. Yeah. Okay. So I did play Warlords of Draenor. And then I obviously and then I think Legion came after that. And then I stopped in Legion because I do remember doing like specific quest. Yeah, it was the outpost. Yeah, because I remember doing specific quest lines in Legion that were like related to that. And that's it. But yeah, I loved WoW though. Like, holy crap. Some of my formative years were spent like um, very much so playing WoW. Lots of that. So this here, like I love what we've done. So if you guys have missed it, so we're doing renovations for our save file. Um, I build slower than molasses in wintertime. So this is the original like shell of the house from the Spencer Kim Lewis house. You can find them in Willow Creek. It's an eyesore. It's like a hotel. So like I added like some things to it to make it all pretty-ish, as good as good as I could. And all base games. So I'm going with like a really cleat a cleat no a really clean and neat approach to it and like it being um like modern and whatnot so in the front door we've got like a little entryway and then we have a bathroom then there's like a big living so, so. room and then i kind of divided it into almost like little apartment kind of things also hi is it you livid welcome on in um so over here we have like a big kitchen and then our dining room and then like a kitchen. And there's like a little area over here. I really liked the way that this area turned out though. It's really so, so. cool. Yeah, it's all base game. Hi Coco, welcome on in. Nice to meet you. It's been a, it's been rough trying to figure out like how to use base game well, you know? But um, then this is Dennis's area right here. This is Dennis Kim. We theorize that he's like an old, um, like retired, how do I want to say like a, uh, an old retired like architect, I think is what Joey had suggested and I loved it. So we went with it. So this is like his old, um, like his own little hangout spot in here. And then he's got his own like little suite. Cleat works in clean and neat mixed together. Exactly, like, right? I like that. Forget like the, the soccer cleats and stuff. It's now clean and neat together. Cause we said, I like the way you think hide. Um, uh, and then we have like a little entryway. I love this little table. And then there's a platform that goes outside to like his own little nook out here with like a fireplace and stuff. I think it's cute. 
And then it's got like an exposed closet. And then this is his bedroom area. We put like a little desk with a computer and like a bookcase and like a couch and stuff. It's like his own little studio apartment style thing. Um, cause that's how I feel like when you have like a blended home, especially when it's like a literal mansion. This is how I feel it should go. Thank you, nature girl. I'm so glad you like it. Um, well, too bad they weren't doing a uh, live flying and drain or get flying and drain or let's go make it enough time to dedicate their lame ego quest for flying. Right. Seriously. I felt that though. Magic. Ooh, that was a, that was a rough one. I remember that. Um, then over here, this is all lofted and stuff. And I think this looks really neat. And then there's like a hallway. There's another bathroom on this floor. So we have like half baths, but then like full baths like that are attached because you saw us on suite had like a shower and stuff. And then over here, um, this is Vivian or whatever her name is. Yeah, her name is Vivian Lewis. It's Eric's mom. Um, this is her living quarters. So she, uh, this is like her little like living room spot. I love the way that this looks. This is so cute. And then this is her like own bedroom. Hi, Bunny Blanca. Welcome on and good to see you. So her own little area. It looks really cute and private. And then she has her own little bedroom or bathroom. Then we go upstairs. And then this is kind of where we left off last time. So this is where um, Eric, Alice, and Olivia are going to reside. So this, this entire third floor is basically going to be like their own like area. Cause you see like uh, Alice or not Alice, but Vivian's like on the second floor. Dennis is on the bottom floor. They have like a joint kitchen. And then we have it up here. No, it's like, it's basically just a big blended home. Not like an apartment. We could though, with how big it is. Bunny, thank you for that lurk. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, this is, I suppose this is where we left off. I was really kind of, um, so Alice is a creative sim. So she is creative childish and she loves the outdoors and she has the, um, painter extraordinaire aspiration. So I'm definitely going to give her like her own little office area, um, where she can like paint and stuff. So I think this is going to be Alice and Eric's bedroom. So I really want to go like earthy yet like fun and like quirky kind of vibes. And then this is going to be Olivia's bedroom right here. Like lots of fun colors. She's a really cute, quirky kid. And she also is like artistic, like her mom. She's a goofball and she likes painting and colors and stuff like that. Ah, thank you so much, Bunny. You're so nice. I appreciate that. You're so sweet. And a bathroom. And then I have a feeling I might do like a little art studio or something over here for Alice because I feel like that's like the right thing to do because she's like a painter and stuff. And that's what she does. I don't even know if she has a job. She doesn't have a job. So she could like make it as a painter probably at that point. Especially like with her painting skill being like level four. All right. But in the meantime here, I'm going to open another thing of OBS so I can record and we can get our booties building. But I'm trying to like as we as we go through these renovations for these houses, I'm trying to make their houses feel like they belong to the Sims, you know, if you feel me. And here we go. Overwhelmed just trying this magic. Honestly, like I started it back in like August. Uh, or something, but I, I had to take breaks because I couldn't get into it. I wouldn't I wasn't finding the inspiration and I honestly found it really difficult. So you're not incorrect. Like you're not the only one on that one. Like it's so crazy. I love this. It is it is free. I hear you right. Oh my god. Um, it's been a journey. So like this is definitely a build that I've been work I've been working on like intermittently for a while. Um, but this this room here is really cool, but like I'm honestly at a loss on what to do here because do I do, ooh, what if I did like a little coffee nook? Cause like this could be really, really, really cute. I think if we did like a little coffee nook here or maybe even do like a big cabinet or something like on the side and like a little garbage can here. I don't know. I just, I feel like it's the right thing to do. Like coffee. And then there's even like a little coffee cup holder thing that I could do, but we're going to do this. So we have 32,000 simoleons left to get this apartment done. And 
then when I like make the actual save file, then I can think about maybe making them like have their own, like give them a little bit of spending money or something. How is hey! everyone? I love you all so much. Thanks for being so gentle with me in this yeah! cozy community. Thank you less for the 15 three. months. I seriously hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. Tia, thank you for being here. And you are so very welcome. And I feel you feel welcome. I hope you feel welcome always. I really appreciate you. Thank you for choosing to let me be a part of your day. And, you know, all of that. Because you know that that is such a sacred thing to me. It's like who we choose to let in our space is such a powerful thing. I love that. Okay, I really like the fact that this isn't like floating anymore, but then like this kind of feels bottlenecked a little bit since I did that. What if I tried this? Like I adore y'all so much. It's kind of ridiculous. Ooh, wait, this actually looks pretty cool. What do you think? I know that I always come back as always looking home after being away at school. Oh, I love that. That's such a good analogy, though. And I'm really glad that you feel that way because I, you know, will never take something personally if someone chooses not to come to stream or they can't or whatever, honestly, because like this is truly a spot where I want you to feel like you can just leave it at the door, vent about it if you want to, and just come back like you didn't even skip a beat. <laughs> That's so important because, you know, our stream mom, I love it. I'm bean mom. <laughs> we need to think of like a word that's like mom and bean all in the same way. What would that be? I don't know. Uh, the baby counter. Oh, do I? Uh, where is it? Oh, my God, it's down there. Oh, my God. Thank you. Hello. We're going to we're going to take that away for a second. Thanks, Aaliyah. <laughs> mom bean. I love it. Ooh, wait, is this like, this is more of like a brown, I think, than like a black, like a deep brown. So we're going to do, ooh, that one's like a black, black beam. Oh my God, we're beaming right now. Okay, that's cute though. All right, but imagine like these exposed shelves up here. I don't know like how I want to have it, but this looks cute to me. A beam of sunshine on the, on the garden of beans. I like it. <laughs> Listen, y'all make my day. Right? No, I think I really like this idea too. And then I can kind of like do that to like extend them out. And I think it looks neat. And then I'm going to size that down because like for whatever reason, this is just like really big. And I'm not down for that. Okay, but look at how adorable that is. Is that not fun? I could even, instead of like having it like on the edge like this, I'm going to go ahead and like plop it right here. Making sure I'm not sticking through. I know I really, really, really like this too. Um, And then I'm going to put, ooh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put little plants on this. Like I'm looking for minimalist, but not like empty. You know, like that's something I'm trying to like marry my love for clutter um with minimalist stuff without making it feel like it's too cluttered up like you can still make something look look, look lived in i think move objects would function the xbox for me but it's not um uh, not in, been able to get it work oh that's so weird um silly question are you trying are you using um i gotta ask um testing cheat chest testing cheats true what's that red thing oh my god it is red shelf Okay, I have a TikTok like little walkthrough thing as well, Nature Girl, but it's amazing. So basically, there are certain things that can clip to shelves, certain things that don't, um, and things that you kind of like wish did. Um, but it's honestly one one really good way to like describe it, or one good way to use it is like this. Let me give you a quick show of like an idea of how it can work. Okay, look, see, this is like really big, like really big. So I like to size these down. You can also do this with like desks or not desks, um, like bookcases or like uh, dressers or something is another good one. So like here's regular size and then here's like the size down size. So like I want to decorate this, but you like can't because the game thinks that it's the size that it's supposed to be, which is this. 
So a way that you can like cheat this and like so clutter it and make it look good is by using the red shelf. Um, you can also use nine and zero, but this prevents things from like floating and stuff. Cause like just like a hair too high or a hair too low, you know, but this is like the Goldilocks of cluttered devices. It's just right. So like you level it up, you see it's like right on the edge. It's like per almost perfect. We've just got it. So um, red shelf changes the way that you can move objects but you cannot it doesn't change the way that other objects operate it's just kind of like a placeholder for it so um let's pretend that i like want to move this over here so i'm gonna float this to like about the spot because you see like it's remembering the height here and then you can like move this over let's just pretend that's in the middle um and then boom there you go and that's what you got but yeah, um, it's it's a mod though, it is. So there, it doesn't, so Red Shelf grabs like a lot of different objects for you. Um, so like things that don't clip on shelves uh, or like will clip on tables, like it grabs everything. But you can, if you are on console, you can get like the same idea if you use like a regular shelf, but your items that you are able to like clutter are gonna be a little bit limited, but you can still do that if without mods too. You can still kind of do it, but like I said, you're going to have a little more limitations and stuff. But um, you can use like a normal shelf, but Red Shelf does it all. Um, But yeah, Nature Girl, it's awesome. I also have, I have a TikTok. It's also on like YouTube and like Instagram if you don't do TikTok. Um, it's down a little bit, but it's like, it's a Red Shelf tutorial and stuff. It's also in our Discord channel. If you go under Zeph TikToks, you might have to like look a little bit because I post quite a bit in here. Um, blah, 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 Red Shelf tutorial. And then it's right here. And so you can like go back and like reference it and stuff. And of course, ask questions as you need to. Um, need one to make lunch, came back and my cat is sitting on my desk. Madeline, I love that I have a cat for an, uh, like a little, a little viewer. You know, no offense guys, but cats are better viewers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, you know, why not both? Uh, well, I'll place and use nine to get it around the height and I'll set it on. Exactly. Like you can, you, you can still use nine and zero, but nine and zero sometimes raise or lower things a little bit too much. And red shelf is like your Goldilocks. That's going to be just right. Like you get it at the perfect height and it's a lot quicker once you kind of get used to using it and all that. Hi, Nerdfart! Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. I love it. Exactly. Clips for little or full of it. Exactly. Yep. And Red Shelf is like your good bridge in between that. Red Shelf changed the clutter game. It did. Like, honestly, Red Shelf was one of those things, like, for me, I am late to the bandwagon on everything because I am that person. I don't know why. My brain is just silly like that. But, um, like, for real, Red Shelf is one of those things where I'm like, why did I wait so long? And it literally like sped everything up for me, um, like building wise and stuff. Nerd, I hope you're doing good. We are working on the Spencer Kim Lewis household and I'm honestly really hoping that I can get this bad boy finished like today. I am hoping because this build has been like with us for a hot minute. No, wait, oh, okay, this is the one. The apple of my eye. Eaten in lunch. Oh, and worked and popped in. Nice. What's for lunch today, nerd? I hope you're having a good lunch. Oh my God, Paige. It's awesome. It is amazing. Seriously, like one of the, the best like build by mod things ever. And plus when you like delete it, like your game won't flag as CC, but like if they even have like uh, an invisible like swatch on it, but it will flag your game as CC when you do that. Uh, nine and then elevate from 0 0.05 with tool spot on. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Tool and like honestly raising with nine and zero is also something good that you can use too. Very good point. Like I love that so much. I need to get it now. Oh, it's it's and honestly it's a little bit weird to get used to. But when you do it, it's like I've got this. Um. So please, please, please do ask questions. We got your back. 
totally okay with um helping you guys out as you get figured out because i know how weird it can be at first but i think like one of the more important things to remember when you are using red shelf is that it doesn't change the way that other things operate just how you can clutter if that makes sense so like it won't change the fact that like things still clip to other surfaces you just fake it till you make it basically <laughs> Um, I'm not confident though in my building skills even remotely think about using tool. I feel that it's a lot. And I've honestly really got down some of the like really super basic pieces of tool mod, but there's so many more things that I know that I can use that improperly and I'm not there yet. So I understand exactly where you're coming from. I have a really good like crash, like a super quick and dirty crash course version of um, like using tool mod. If that is something that you are interested in checking out. Um, so it's like the hard basics of tool to kind of get you started and familiarize with the way that the in, like it looks and stuff. But like Twisted Mexi also has like a lot of really, the guy who made it also has like a lot of really good resources on it too. It's good. My cat paws at the bed trying to attack my characters and uh, she meows angrily when they get damaged, falls asleep. And then I'm walking next area, <laughs> gets mad at me for paws too long, right? <laughs> Cats are, you know, oh my God, it was really funny. So you know how I have like all the Etsy orders and stuff that I filled and then I've been sending out to you guys? Um, before I mailed them out, they were like in my office, like on my desk and stuff. And Ahsoka, my cat, decided that she was going to bring me one of the packages in bed. You know, it was like not last night, but like the night before, because I mailed them out yesterday. So that was really fun. Um, but I counted them all and they're all there. But she decided they're like, yeah, just like a little package, but she picked it up off of my desk and like brought it to me in bed. I'm like, why are you such a little gremlin? Hi, Marcy. Welcome on. And I'm so glad to see you today. How you doing? We are currently um cluttering up our little kitchen in here. And I'm making like a little coffee nook area. Need a motivation to finish a game. Let my cat watch me play. Right. I love that. Your own little audience. Reminding you to ship them. I already did. They are already out there. <laughs> They've already been shipped out. I even have one that someone ordered yesterday that I shipped out too. Um, moving things sideways with tools is impossible for me when you need to type numbers like X by thinking my brain is a brain. Exactly. Like my brain does not work in those directions. We only go up and down. That's it. That is the only, you know, I am a 2D kind of gal. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> as soon as you bring like z into there we're just i'm i'm done like i'm i'm confused i'm lost your cat brings shoes i love that that's so cute i love cats bagel hi welcome on in i hope you're having a good day welcome 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 how we all doing on this fine fine um thursday i hope you're doing well I am making our adorable little kitchen and I'm making it into a labyrinth. Actually, this looks really cool. And I really like the way this looks. I'm in. This is so good. This is so good. By the way, these are the pins that I'm referring to. I have Benjamin pins, if you guys don't know. Um, they're adorable. They're up on Etsy if you guys want to check them out. I would love for that. Um, a lot of you guys have already ordered some, which I'm really, really grateful for. That's incredible stuff. Like, I'm really grateful for the support you've given. It's been so cool. Oh, my God. I'm in love with those quick little things that I just added. Also, look at all these cabinets. So good. Mine got up after, um, got to eat after I've been telling her how special she is to thanking me for gracing with the cuddles. Totally stating your purpose is to feed me, human. Exactly. Right? Cats, no. So I was up pretty late last night, like later than I normally am. And Kyber um, had decided that he was going to stand on my desk like right here. And he had butted me and started pawing at me. And then he led me to bed. My cat, by the way, for those of you who didn't know. He's a little black cat. Hi, Wallace. Welcome on it. I'm so glad to see you today. Been in the cabinet phase and building in the Sims, mostly the living room unit for the TV. Oh my God, just call me out already. <laughs> Marcy! 
Lexi, look, seriously, same. You got like your floating Ikea shelves. And then, oh my God, we did it up here too. I did it on literally every floor. Stop. Okay, look, that's pretty cool though. Like the asymmetrical look. And then I even did it down here. And then I even did it more cabinets in his bedroom for like a closety thing. And then I did this with more cabinets over there. Marcy, Mar I'm personally, I'm victimized. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then more cabinets. Like half of our budget went to cabinets. Thank you though, Rotten Lady. I'm so glad you like it. This is all base game, by the way. I know, like, honestly, this, this house is so big. Like all the storage. Oh, and then we also have like this. <laughs> she went really, oh my God. Um, It's all gonna be base game and CC free and stuff. So if you want it, it'll be on the gallery when we're finished with it. It's going on my save file. Pillars have been replaced by cabinets. Exactly. No, they're complemented by. Look at the kitchen, the bedroom cabinets. Yeah, it's like a big built-in thing. It's so cool. I love doing that stuff. Hi, Erica, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Good to see ya. I always forget. I'm gonna put like a trash can. So we're gonna go under appliances and then I'm gonna go miscellaneous and we're gonna look at a garbage can. I feel like they'd have like this one, but that's so expensive. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, this one because that makes me feel better. It looks good. Love the corner plants. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it, Jinxie. That's so nice of you. I'm going to do this. Like right here. Uh, 100 baby challenge next. Um, Maybe after we finish this today or tomorrow. Depends on what we're up to. Spencer Kim Lewis household cannot afford the original bill is fine. That's fair. Like, I don't think that they, I don't know. Like with how it's going, we might be about the same on their budget and stuff. With how big this house is, that's kind of like, I'm proud of that fact because we had like the biggest budget on the face of the planet. I think that this should be different. I don't know what I want to do. Should I do like this in here? Like up on the top? Or should I continue with like the same crap that they have outside? Probably the same crap that they have outside. I mean, I think that's the best I got. And I don't know what to do. So I think, ooh, so, the green so. is kind of funky. Hi, El Bell, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. I hope you're having the best day. My name's Suffren. My pronouns are she, her. Thank you for coming on by. Um, welcome to the most indecisive stream builder ever. Among Us stream? Yes, Rinny. Yup, I'm going to be playing Among Us tomorrow with Simsy and friends. I'm excited. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be wonderful. Hi, Janie. Welcome on in. Yeah, this is the original, like, Spencer Kim Lewis household that we had. And it's been a lot of fun. Not really. Rini, right, Rini, I know, I'm so excited. So I will be live at like noon central, so about the same time as today, uh, tomorrow, and then at around 3 p.m. central, we'll be playing Among Us with Pals. And then that's all she wrote. I know, right, Blanca, I'm so stinking excited for it. My God, I have like no, no use for this. Oh, and I don't, I do not want to do that. But like, also, what if I did? But like, what if? You know what? Since we have like this little wall right here, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna square it off. Um, and I'm gonna make it into like its own little thing. Cause I think it'd be kind of cute. Thank you, Janie. I'm so glad you like it. I'm feeling real cozy about it today. Uh, but the stairs outside leading down just before the door. It's uh, um, it's like a platform on the outside. So I don't want to like mess with that at all. If that makes sense. Where are you from? Sim Escape. Hi, I'm from the Midwest in the United States. I was born and raised in Wisconsin in the United States, but I live in Illinois now. 
that is where I'm from. No, this this is for our save file, uh, Smithers. This is um, the Spencer Kim Lewis household. So to make sure that I don't get like really, really bored with one thing or another, like especially like the 100 baby challenge, because it can be pretty grindy, no pun intended. Um, I feel like uh like dabbling a little bit in the like in building and then like the 100 baby challenge it's keeping me it's keeping my brain happy wisconsin yeah exactly that's me loading me gamble what's your id so i can follow you in the gallery yeah mrs Stewart. um there we go it's zephyrin ttv pretty much on all like social media platforms you can pretty much find me on zephyrin ttv unless it's like twitch or um what the heck is it called uh youtube twitch or youtube it's gonna be zephyrin and then everything else is gonna be zephyrin ttv I really like this. Oh, you are so welcome. Thank you so much for following and hanging out with me. Okay, I think this looks pretty cool. And then I could even like bring this over a little bit if I wanted, but I like the asymmetry. Like I am a fan, let me tell ya. It looks fun and it looks artsy and it's better than like the staircase, I think. So I really like that. I'm gonna do a little something on this wall. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something. Um, it's base game, so like we are really limited on our options. <gasps> no, my pillar! Bolt! Oh my god. Hi, Bolt! How are you, by the way? I'm glad to see you. Don't worry. I fixed it. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I love this living room, though. I think this is so fun. I also want to do something here on this wall because this is just like super boring to me. So you know what I'm thinking? I don't know what I'm thinking, but I know it might be something. A bunch of law clutter down at the front door, like a coat rack, snowy escape in base game. I'm only using base game though. Umbrellas and shoes, etc. I'm only using base game, Janie. Cabinets? Yeah! Why not more cabinets? We love that. Um, I'm honestly thinking about trying to do some sort of like a built-in style thing over here. Move over, pillars. We've got cabinets now. See, it looks weird because of like this doorway though, but also it's kind of cool. Like if we do it right, and then especially like if I can like just like that, you know? And it's not really gonna be like that much of a difference in here. Like, cause I think that looks really kind of cute, especially like, if I just gently move it over like that. Ooh, they're still even. We love cabinets, don't we? Bolt, oh my God. Wait, um, I'm, oh, you've been a sick bean. I'm sorry, Bolt. I really hope you feel better. I know that you said that you were thinking you were getting sick and then you're like, yep, it happened. I'm sorry about that, right? If only base game did have more clutter because we're really missing a lot of stuff. Hey, Cal, welcome on in. Happy Thursday. I'm so glad to see you today. What's happening? I think those are different colors, maybe? Oh, they're not. They're just being weird. It did. That's so annoying. Like, when you know that you're getting sick, you're like, yup, here it is. And you can only just, like, wait for it at that point. Okay, so these are, like... something under here <gasps> what if we like faked a little window seat thing over here that would be kind of fun what's my go-to coffee oh my god um it depends on the time of year lately i've been into dirty chai so that means like chai tea with mixed with coffee like two shots of espresso would love it that's so good Today I have an iced cold brew with like a uh, brown butter toffee in it. Mm, dirty chai. I know they're so good. So good. Ooh. Okay, this I might like size down and then see if I can do something here. It is so good. And I'm not like biased or anything. Because <laughs> like I'm getting it. Ooh, wait. Um, because imagine if we did this and then like did in blue because they match everything else. I don't know if I love this or not, though. I 
I have to raise them up just a little bit more. Or raise or push this one down a little bit because of the uh because that <laughs> pretty much. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, wait. Um I'm gonna push this one down a little bit. So we're gonna elevate negative point zero one five. Elevate negative point zero two five. Yeah, that's looking real good. I really like that. What do you guys think? Does that look okay? It's like a, a fake little like window seat thing. So I think it definitely like takes up some more room over here. Or instead of this, I could do a bookcase. Hear me out. I know we're getting real crazy now. Um, I could even do this instead and like do a build a bookcase thing. I can totally do this. It would be really nice IRL. Ah, yeah, right, wouldn't it? Like a little a little book nook thing. I don't know. See, I don't know if I love that specifically, but we will we'll check this out and see if I like this. Cause I think this is gonna be too wide. I wish I could do like a quarter wall thing. You know what? No. We ain't gonna do it, guys. We're gonna go actually under storage. Just because I didn't like how it was like sticking out and like that whole corner would have been really weird. What if we do... I want like a bookcase that looks modern but without looking like it's out of place. Like this one. Honestly, that's not the worst. Except like base game things that... I feel like they always have the like this weird like gray like all the whites are just gray would be really nice IRL right I like it uh, a bookcase to lay back next to yeah what do you guys think or I could even like try this one and see if like one of these could blend into the wall a little bit or I could just lean into like the rest of this like that that one looks a little bit thinner and a little bit better I think so maybe the white swatches. I know, right? They're so hard to match because they're just like gray. And then now they have like some of them that are just like white. That looks really good too. Not crisp enough. Yeah, it's like weird, like wood white. Base game textures don't match anything else on the game. Yep. Yep. I hear that. I believe if I remember properly, I was like reading an article about it. Um, somewhere. It was like a couple years ago. So I don't really remember. But they basically they had like a different art director at that point um when base game was like a thing and stuff so uh, it's like a completely different art style that they like focus on and whatnot Ooh, so at some point or another like they like switched gears completely this is like a little side door thing. So I wonder what I should put here. I think, ooh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put like, not the fern, but maybe like the cactus or something. But I don't think they have like the right kind of vase style that I want to do. So maybe I will go ahead and do this. And do it in the light. And boom, super cute. I like that. That looks really good. I think the living room has come along really, really nicely, though. Like, and this is it. And then this is like a hallway that I want to do. So I want to pick like a shelf. Probably like maybe one of these. Dream Home Decor to have a bookcase. I wonder how it would look. It does, but I'm only using base game, though, for this specific one. I'm gonna do that because I think that looks really cool and then maybe choose a different color um but I don't know maybe even like white or like black or something or this dark brown doesn't look too bad you love the layout thank you I'm so glad you like it though really really this or maybe even go like a notch lower just because it's like 
in the middle of the wall then. Right, the hot dog? Yeah. It reminds me of like, it's Alice. Alice is kind of like your artsy, weird, quirky Sim. And I love that for her. Like, I don't know. Everything in here feels so modern and so like clean. But I wonder what, like, if we can do something different in here that feels more Alice. You know, because like earthy and artsy. Earthy artsy is kind of what I'm going for. But this is like very modern. Thank you so much, Al. That's so nice. You're so sweet. That is the best compliment ever. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Um, how can I do this better? Because like, I feel like this is just way too bland and it's not very Alice in my opinion. What do I do, y'all? So many questions right now. The picture in that set. Yes. Oh my God. I would love to have that separated. Like basically any of the grouped items I want separate because I am that person. Like for real. I get it. It gives good vibes and stress parts of your brain. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yes. The, those paintings are so good though. Uh, Chi, I love that. Drop some yellow, maybe with a dark blue. Ooh, we could do like just like a funky little like yellow piece somewhere. I do like the dark blue that we had going on, though, admittedly. Like, I really do like that. Anonymous. Oh, my God. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Els Bells 123. Anonymous, that is so fun. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to uh, L. L. I really hope that you like your emotes. Welcome on into the Beanie Weenie Club. Thanks so much for coming on by. I hope that you enjoy your stay. Thanks for coming in. Yes. Oh my God. Seriously, our community is just like, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> Honestly, they're so nice and so sweet. I am always at a loss for words with how kind they are to each other. And everyone. Like, really? Your coworker says when he feels good, it's like it's like good scratches to the brain. Yeah, right? I like that descriptor too. That's a good one. I do like this weird, like minty greeny color that we have though. Like that makes my brain very happy in this area for some reason. Like, very good. A plant wall right to the platformed door. Oh, like this being like a plant wall. I wonder how we can accomplish this in base game. Um, because that's a good idea. Huh. Because we really don't have like vines or anything. Hi, Indy. I hope you're doing good. Welcome on in. Cabinets are always the answer. <laughs> I love it. Don't tempt me. But I love this like green color that we have going on here, though. What do you guys think of that weird like green that's just kind of like splash in here? But I want to do more of that, though, if we do decide to do that. It's like that weird, like minty light green. The day is going good. We are doing a base game renovation of the Spencer Kim Lewis household and this is funky. Wait a minute. We almost did this before. Hi, Ninja. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for coming by. What's happening? Okay, but like, I'm honestly kind of here for this. I love that green. I know that's so fun. And then what if we changed gears and did like more browns on this to make it feel less like stale. You know what I mean? Because everything else is so warm feeling in this house. Uh, Chinese New Year coming up in the year of the cat. Does that say something about 2023? Are we going to knock everything off the shelf? Because if not, I'm here for that. Or if so, I'm here for that. You love the colors? I know, right? Teeny, I like that. It's honestly, kind of not that bad, though. I'm kind of here for it. So now my question is like, what other chairs kind of go with this like hue? <gasps> okay, this is better because these ones don't have that. 
Oh, is it really the year of the rabbit? Is it really? Oh, no, wait. Oh, doing community build in Willow Creek and everybody's choosing a plot and making a playable build. Oh, that's so cool, Indy. I love that. Oh my God. And uh, then we're doing a multiplayer mod and then doing a scavenger hunt or something. That is so good. That's such a blast. I love the multiplayer mod. One thing though, one, one air of caution about it. Uh, encourage people to remove their, like to save all their their saves outside, like uh, before you put the multiplayer mod in, cause it'll mess up your save files and it'll give you like 2 billion, like number 2 billion. And then you won't be able to like rename them um but otherwise you should be okay that's my only suggestion because i had an error like that and i had to go in and rename all of my save files and stuff oh chinese year is a rabbit is it really oh my god i was born in the i think it was year of the goat or the sheep or something but honestly that's like the either like the only issue i had which in my opinion it wasn't even really like an issue but i had so much fun we did like a candy land thing with dr glue on and i had so much fun with that Oh, she said cat. Oh, so it might be inaccurate. I got it. Yeah, I was a 91. I think I was like a horse or not a horse, uh, like a goat or something like that. No cat in Chinese. Well, there's a tiger. I think maybe. I don't know. It's a good question, though. Also, this is this might be even better, by the way. I don't know what to do or even this. Ooh, wait, what do you think about that? World saves is, uh, yeah, exactly. Let's back up the world saves. Yep, yep. Definitely a good spot to start. I'm a weird case uh, by Chandler's Counter. I'm a snake, but Western Counter, my horse. Oh, that's so weird. Interesting. I wonder, cause I wonder what I would be because like I was December 18th and like where that kind of falls to. Okay, this green is super funky and I'm here for that. Like, this is so good. I think that this is too meh, though. It's too, like, plasticky. Ooh. Wait, that kind of goes together. What do you think about that, everyone? It's kind of fun. And then I might even go to, like, change this because... Again, it's kind of a little like it, it works, but it doesn't at the same time. Or hear me out. What if I just did that? Because that's a really tall coffee table, honestly. Like, I think that looks way better. And then just leave this open. Hi, D. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Iris, thank you for the lurk. Welcome on back. How you doing today? We are working on renovating this Spencer Kim Lewis household. And, um... We're going in and changing up the stylization in this room a little bit. And I gotta say, I like this. Oh, not good. I'm so sorry. I'm sending all the forehead smooches in the world, my friend. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope whatever it is, it gets better for you. Sending all the love and the care in the world. Yeah, this green was a really nice shift, in my opinion. When I can, like, change that to, like, that color. Oh, storm anxiety. Aw, I feel that. That's so valid. Yeah, like the carpet is the main focus. And then like, this is so fun because like, it's like a lighter version of the color, but it doesn't like take away to it, but it still adds to it. Like, I really like this. It still adds like, it's like earthy, but like funky, like Alice. Kind of like what we said. Vietnamese Zodiac does not, oh, it does have a cat. Ah, interesting. I like that. Very good. Yeah, I'm not versed enough in that stuff to really know a lot, but I do find it very interesting. That's for sure. Playable world, I'll save it and share it in any playable builds you're interested in. Aw, that's awesome. I have like a lot of, um, that is so cool though, Indy. I love challenges like that. That's so fun. Okay, I gotta change this one here because those were like different on accident. That's my bad. Should I do more of like a funky accent wall over here? Because we do have like some different like potential now with the colors. Cause I was gonna do like a navy maybe. I wonder like this, like a sage or no, those are like very blue. I'm almost looking for like a yellowy green color. That is just way too bright. 
That's too blue. Oh my goodness. Um, let's filter green because sometimes you like miss out on stuff by filtering these, but sometimes you can find some really good stuff. I think the closest one was this, but I don't like the trim and that was also a little bit too close in my opinion. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe. Nope, that does not look good. Nope, not even a little bit. The tags in the game can be very weird. They can. Like, sometimes you got to search, like, if you're looking for, like, a specific hue of teal, you can find things that are, like, blue or green. Like, in either. Like, when I was doing the mint for Not So Berry Challenge, like, build and stuff, I definitely searched both of those tags because you can find them in either or. This is interesting. Uh, but the plot options are still up in case you uh, like adding to a world. Aw, thank you. I do have some builds on the gallery maybe or something like that. Shoot me a DM because otherwise I will forget. <laughs> My brain is like a sieve. Please do though, Indy. All the choices. I know sometimes like working with, um, what's it called? Uh, like base game only stuff. It's almost like it scratches your brain in such a nice way. Um, my boyfriend's is half Chinese and his mom Chinese and stepdad live with us. So that's the only reason why I know I got it. <laughs> Especially since they like they they probably celebrate like Chinese New Year too. Do do they? Uh, Chi. That makes a lot of sense though, due to like your association and closeness to it. Ooh, this is kind of artsy, especially if like I size it up. That's kind of fun. Do you like a black one? I want greenery though. Like I know it's ironic because like it's literally this weird green color right here. Hi Dream, welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Um, uh, supposed to be terrible luck according to my heading into your flop era. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully you can like go against the grain and make it work out for you. Renovation is made to renovate and rebuild this lot in Art Deco style. That would be so fun to do. Like Art Deco is such a blast to work with, isn't it? I don't know how I am feeling about this. Here, let me try to do like a gray or... What other kind of tables do we have that I could use? Because this one obviously looks really cool. But... I'm almost wondering if I could go like a slightly different direction, especially if you do like the black and then swap all of these to like that gray color. And then use this wall as like an accent wall instead of like the furniture. Huh, the green tile. I know it's like, it's different than what we are normally used to and stuff or like what we've been doing for like the rest of the house like it's it's different and i don't know if it's like too much on these other walls too though that's kind of part of the problem how it wraps up from the platforms yeah like i think i like it more here but i'm honestly a little bit conflicted over this way like i might go with more of a neutral because i feel like both of them are too bit are like too much but then i also think that like this is good over here like it's it's different and I like it, <laughs> I, I think. I'll come back to it in like a little while and see how I feel, but I think so far it's gonna be good. Yeah, just, yeah, right, just like the one accent wall. I think I'm agreeing with you. Pool in your hometown, positive memories though, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I like it better because it looks like still a little more dilute, still looks really nice. Um, also for this accent wall, I'm thinking about using, cause they have like a square version of this one, but it does come in like a nice color. Ooh, that brightened that up really nicely, right? It blends in really good too. I agree. This is more of like a neutral gray, like a cool gray, I guess. That's like a green. Hmm, many decision. This adds a little bit of color and you know, I'm not mad about it.
Now it's just a matter of like, okay, what pillar style do I want to use? And what do we have for this one? Because like our modern looking pillars are really kind of like few and far in between on these ones. And I just don't know if I like these ones or like what I want to do in this house here. Those are kind of funky. They add like a different like shape to it rather than it being like the same throughout like the entire part of the house, which can be kind of cool. And then I might honestly change because like this is like the accent walls that we have throughout the rest of the house. I might be so inclined to change the rest of that though. Like these, because this doesn't come in like a black. It only comes in like these beige colors and like green and like a darker olive green. Tia, earthy yet artsy is kind of what I'm trying to go for. Earthy, artsy feel. Um, I feel like it's it's going OK so far. Like here, you know, earthy, artsy. Yeah, because like um, it's Alice. So Alice Spencer Kim Lewis is uh she's creative childish and loves the outdoors hi lady welcome on in how you doing today i'm so glad to see ya what's happening what's going on Ooh, that's kind of interesting i wish that we had like painted versions of this though what about yes yeah, i don't know what I, I like i don't know if i like this table per se this table is one that I'm like, okay, I know I like the chairs a lot and I think they're wonderful. But I just don't know if this is going to be like a little bit too modern either. You know what? I actually think I might like that a little more. That's kind of good. Certain character from movie robots with the voice of Robin Williams. Oh, wait, what did? No, this is just like a, a save file renovation. So this is for a save file. So this one's base game only. So we're just going for it. Making it work. Um, I do want to find like a different accent wall to use here though throughout because we have like this like wooden panel one. But I wonder what we could use. Um, Because like I really like what we've got going on. I have no idea what I want. This one, I wish this didn't have like red grout in it because that might be a little, that might be kind of cool, but it's it's red and it looks really weird. And it's like almost, the, it's like identical, just like a different texture anyway. Or the artsy is artsy fartsy is how we described it. <laughs> Aunt Fanny, right? <laughs> exactly. Some artsy fartsy vibes. Um, We do have some exposed brick like in the kitchen and stuff. That looks, oh my God, that looks really cool. That brings in like that earthiness to it too. How about like literal dirt? I'm just joking. But like, what if? <laughs> um. Oh, this is kind of cool though, especially like the ship lappy kind of thing. Some exposed brick and more modern builds. Yeah, like I'm kind of into it too. I really don't mind that. But then if I did that and then I might actually like swap back to these pillars. And then like swap them maybe to like that brownish tone that we had again. A lot of this is like swatch simulator. Like, this is what I do. I change swatches. Oh, those blend really nicely together, actually. Ooh, honey. Wait a minute. Oh, thank you, Indy. I appreciate that. Hi, T. Or wait. Uh, hi, Janese. Welcome on in. Nice to see you again. What's happening? I think I quite like what I've got going on with these walls so far. Especially like those pillars and stuff. Like I honestly have no idea. Oh my God, I, I have like this love-hate relationship with what's going on with this right now. Shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Um,
There we go. I have this love-hate relationship going on with this. A different wall between the pillars versus where the TV is. Ooh, we could do something like that or even like this. <gasps> Wait, what do you think about that? Or Thank you so much for the lurk, Janese. I appreciate that. Thank you for keeping me company while you work. I'm glad we can keep each other company, I suppose I should say. That's awesome stuff. I love that. Mm. See, this almost has like a, a tinge of that gray and it like dials it in a little bit. And I'm honestly kind of here for it. And I think that looks really good, personally. What do you guys think? Um, and then this, I'm actually going to redo to this here. Renovating IRL houses is easy. Seriously, right, though? I had been um, putting together or, like, pinning things on Pinterest, stuff that I really like. Um, and stuff that I like want to do around my own house. So I am definitely on the same page as you right now. Oh my goodness, wait, like, should I use this? Like a little fern. It's kind of fun. Um, ooh. Yeah, I've got some like things that I've pinned to Pinterest for sure that I'm just like, hmm, what do I want to do? But I think I really like what we've got going on with like the other walls, though. Everything is a little more neutral. This is kind of a fun little accent piece. What do you guys think about the tiling here, though? I think it looks better than this just because the way it kind of like, you know, all flows together. Maddie! Oh my God, stop! We're almost at two years. That's so awesome. That is so fun. Um, one month from two years already. Love you's friend heart. Thank you so stinking much for the 23 months. 23 months straight as well, Maddie. I hope you're having the best day. Hi, Mazimato. We are currently working on renovating the Spencer Kim Lewis household. So this is something in base game. Um, the 100% base game build. It came with Will. It came with a... Uh, base game is in Willow Creek and it's an absolute nightmare eyesore of a house but we are trying to do our best trying to figure out what we want to do with it so cool though I really like this D thank you for the lurk I appreciate that oh my god no worries honestly I hope that you're taking care of yourself though Maddie welcome back lady thank you so much for the for the lurk I appreciate you welcome on back I hope you're doing well I love what we got going on with this little area, though. This is making my brain so happy, but I want to put something here. I don't really want to do like a coat rack or anything. Like, do I do more plants? Because she she's like an outdoorsy loving kind of gal. So maybe I just do more like floor plants or something. Maybe I do it. I don't know. Aw, I hope you've been taking care of yourself, then welcome on back. That is because excites me, though. Ooh, little bit of funky colors. Maybe those ones are a little bit better. Ah, uh, got anything that's done around the house. Thanks for the lurk. Right, Alice, right? She's definitely a plant mom. And Vivian, who is Eric's mom, is, like, right up there with her, too. So it all really works out nicely together. They've got lots of gardening. Alice loves the outdoors and they have like plenty of space for that. Maybe I'll do the dark brown because it kind of blends. Aw, Becca, hi, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for coming on by. I hope you're having the best day. We are currently um, working on this Spencer Kim Lewis household. And this is where our renovation is kind of taking uh, taking us so far today. And I got to tell you, I'm really excited for it. So this is our living room. Alice is artsy, but earthy. 
Um, I love it. I'm so, kind of so obsessed, especially since we like changed directions with like the uh, the colors. <gasps> what do you guys think about that? I really like that. Hi, LJ. Welcome on in. If y'all are new here, by the way, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I am super glad to meet you. Thanks so much for coming on by. Um, I'm obsessed with pillars. So like, welcome. Hello. I never build modern, so this is a different thing for me. Like, really. Oh my god. When do you work on 100, baby? Uh, after we're done with this one. So I might work on 100, baby, after we're done with this. Um, or tomorrow. At least for a while. Yes, Sunny, I'd love to give a tour. All right, so for our save file renovations, we're taking like the original build and we're stripping the roof and the windows and everything off of it. And we're treating it like a shell challenge, which basically leaves like the outside walls. And then I hollow out the inside and draw everything as I see fit. Um, so I can add like decks, I can change the roof, I can add windows, all that stuff. Um, so this is the outside. We've done this with the entrance and I think it's still facing the same direction too. Um, I can also rotate it to like change what part is the front if I want to. So, um, this is what we got going on for the outside. I can also make minor alterations such as adding like these parts here to make it like a little bit more different shape and stuff. But, uh, here's the outside. We've got like a garden area, a little hangout. There's like a pool that's kind of partially covered, kind of cool looking. Thanks, Cal. I'm so glad you like it. You like the bubbly parts? I know it's different, isn't it? Got like a little hangout spot. We'll come to back to that later. Um, but yeah, this is what we have so far. Then all the neat like planters that go on the sides. So this is base game only, by the way. So you go in the front door. You've got like a big entryway. There's a bathroom. Um, and then a big old living room. We're going earthy and like neutral kind of in here. But then over here, we have like a big uh, dining room, a big old kitchen. And then we have like, OK, so this is Dennis. So this is uh, Alice's dad. They're like a blended family that's living together. So this is him. We are theorizing that he's probably like a retired architect or something, because like that's the vibe we went with. And I think it's kind of cool. So. We have like his whole living quarters. So this is his hangout spot. Then this is his bedroom along with his bathroom right here. We went with like industrial, like chic vibes for him. And then, um, so this is the bottom floor plan we got going on. It's a really big house. Oh, and he also has like this little door that goes out. And this is where like his fireplace and like a little bar and like a hangout spot is. This is it. Then we go upstairs, which the staircase comes up over here. So it comes up. You can see this is all like lofted. It looks really cool. And then over here we have like just a little hallway strip and then a bathroom. And then this is Vivian. So this is Eric's mom's area. This is her bedroom. So uh, really elegant, really chic, really feminine. I love the way it looks. And we also gave her like her own little bathroom too. So there's like, um, like a shower and stuff. Hi, Baba. Welcome on in. So glad to see you. Then this is her living room. Tried to make it kind of feel a little more blended with like the rest of the house. You know, probably was designed by like Eric and Alice or something. Then upstairs, um, we have... Eric, Alice, and Olivia's living space. So we're kind of making it like a blended house, and but they all have like their own living quarters where they can kind of go off to because they live in a literal mansion and it's a lot. So you come upstairs and then this is gonna be like a bathroom. Um, Then this is like the living room and the kitchen that we had finished up earlier. Living room and kitchen, um, like a joint living situation for them. Hi, Prince. Welcome on in. So glad to see you. We changed some swatches in this area. And this is going to be Alice and Eric's room with their ensuite bathroom. And then this is um, Olivia's bedroom. Hey, Kiersey, welcome on by. How are you doing? Thanks so much for coming on in. Beans, make sure you go give Kiersey a follow. Welcome on in. How is your stream? Fill us in. 
Animal Crossing today. Oh, that's so good. We're doing uh, save file renovation stuff today. I hope that you're having the best time. Hello, Raiders. But then, yeah, this is what we're up to right now, I suppose. So this is what we've got so far. Then I don't know what I want to do with this area, though. Like, I really like what we have here. Everyone gets their own sections. Exactly. And the house is big enough to, like, justify it. Like, if EA is going to give us that space, I'm going to try to use it better. I don't know what, like kind of better-ish. <laughs> it's been, it's been a challenge though. I will say that. Like it's been really hard to try to get it to, to work well together, I think. This is also kind of cool though. I actually kind of like this a little bit more. What do you guys think about this? Because it suits the color of the decor. Oh my God, I'm doing it. We've got like our weird like cucumber like cell thing going on. A super fancy bathroom, yeah, right? I know I like it. So out here, I wanna do like red in this area. And I think that we could do like these and I'm gonna do like the deep red color cause I think they look really cool. Out here. Um, so we have like this green and then we've got like some red colors that we could use. I'm almost thinking about doing something different for like the flooring and stuff too. Um, maybe if I can get it to look right, maybe we could use like this tiling out here. But we'll get this figured out. Long but narrow tables called. Um, are you talking about like the hallway tables or something? Like we could put like a like a console table, like a hallway table over here. That'd be a good one. See, I would change the walls out here, though, if we did do this. Um. Ooh, that could be kind of interesting. Again, for like Alice's vibes, I'm trying to go like earthy artsy is what I'm really attempting to do. So we will see if this works out the way that I'm thinking. Yeah, like one behind the couches. Yeah, this is like a, like a console table style thing. So let's go ahead and search red and see what we can find. Cause I feel like this is just like too like pinky, you know? I don't know where to put it. It just, it feels too pink to me. And I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about probably. Um, the tiling looks really weird. Why is it so pink? I know, yeah, it's like a rose quartz look, isn't it? I almost wonder, oh, that's like really glossy in comparison to that. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but I'm gonna mess around with it. Cause I'm curious now. I don't know what this is gonna be. Momo! Ah! So, so. Ah! Momo, how are you? How was your day? What's going on? Hi, Callie. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. I hope you're having a good day. What did you, so, what so. you all find yourselves up to? What's happening? Y'all, if you don't know Momo, Momo is so, the so. embodiment of amazing. Please go give them a follow. Oh, a ta I need a little more caffeine. I feel that. I got a cold brew today. I feel that. I thought of you, actually. <laughs> Yes, that's so good. So what were you all up so, to in The so. Sims 4 today? Cold brew? Yes, I got like a butter, a brown butter toffee so, so. flavor. And it is so freaking good. Let me tell you. Ham, Grimmy Grim, Caffeinated Lesbian, Doty, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. So, my name's so. Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Welcome on by. Zag and so, Rhea, so. welcome on in. Thank you for that. Um, we're working on our save file renovations as you guys get like type in and on what you guys were up to. So this is the Spencer Kim Lewis household that shipped with base game. And I hate it with every ounce of my being. It's terrible. And it's terrible. Um, it's big for no reason. Oh, my God. Skill leveling for my sit. Is that purple? Is it plum? 
is Gen 6 Plum. Orange. Oh my god, Plum was I found Plum to be really hard. So so but like orange. Oh yes. I love that. That is so fun though. Like, do you have like a backstory? Like, I know that you're doing like a queer version of Not So Berry. So like all of them are kind of like based off of a different pride flag, for instance. Hi, pumpkin. Welcome on in. How the heck are you? Working on mischief? It does. Mischief does take forever. Oh my God, it's so funny. So like when I did the Not So Berry Challenge in 2019, I ended up making like the freeze ray that Mint had, you know? And I made it like get passed down through their generations and stuff. So like they kept the freeze ray gun. And then um, I ended up like breaking, like making my orange them like break into people's houses, freeze them, bake things because they like baking and like steal whatever animals they had um, <laughs> for whatever reason, because like, why not? <laughs> And like prank toilets and do all sorts of stupid stuff. As a trans woman and a lesbian and a lesbian and a werewolf, did you give them the wolf cut? I'm taking notes. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. Honestly, like if it's really over the top and it doesn't make any sense because like why not? Then we probably have, then we'll probably do it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Welcome on in though. That's so much fun. A lesbian and a werewolf trans woman. I am here for that. A CC hair that is Eddie's hair from Stranger Things. Also very acceptable. So good. I love this. That is so much fun. I hope that you're having a blast. Um, that we're working on a save file, and I take at least like 80 business days to complete any build because I talk more than I play sometimes. But like, um, this is a base game renovation of the Spencer Kim Lewis household. We, we're treating it as a shell, so I'm gutting it, leaving the walls, and I hate myself because it's big. Um, but like, we're going with like earthy modern feels. So we've got like a little bottom room kind of thing. Aw, that's so nice. <laughs> That is actually very accurate, Memories Momo. Memories gifted a tier one <laughs> sub to Momo Misfortune. Memo, thank you for they gifting the sub to Momo. I hope you like your emotes, Momo. Welcome on in. That is so fun. But yeah, simmers are just chatting streamers that pretend to play The Sims. Accurate. That's very fair. <laughs> Love a good Sims background um, when we're just chatting, huh? So, um, big old living room. So this house is really, really unnecessarily large. So we've like a, like a good hangout spot outside real quick for you guys. Um, entryway. And then we've got like a bathroom because we have like so much room and you need like 80 places to poop because why not? Um, here's the joint living like quarter. So this is like a dining room and then we have a big kitchen. And then uh, this is Dennis's living quarter. So this is Dennis's like little living room because it's so big. And then we have um, so we we basically kind of decided that he's like kind of like a retired architect so we went with like really like industrial feels in here um so this is dennis's living area then he's got his own little bathroom and like also like a private patio um and then we're gonna go upstairs the stairs come up here and you can see it's like lofted hallway bathroom rose what plan do you play your life legacy yeah what lifespan do you play your legacy also, hi, Rhea. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. Again, Beans, make sure you go give Momo a follow. Momo was like one of the driving forces behind why we have pronouns on The Sims, and I will not start barking about that. Stop barking about that, so deal with it. Thank you. Um, So Momo is amazing. Go drop them a follow. I'm proud of your accomplishments. <laughs> but I love that. It's so good. But I personally, Rose, I'm doing Not So Berry over on YouTube again. Um, and like I currently have it on short lifespan because I'm doing something with like the founders and then it's not quite the storyline, but I might like wash between like normal and long depending on what I'm doing. But I know you're technically supposed to have it on like normal lifespan, but I like drama and story and sometimes that stuff takes a while. That's what we got. <laughs> So this is Vivian. This is Eric's mom's area. So this is her living quarters. And she's like a glamma. Like she's not grandma. She's glamma. She is really like well-dressed and very extra. 
and I love the bathroom. Got like a little ensuite, made it super fancy. This is her living quarters, like her little living room. And then we go upstairs and then we were working on Alice, Eric and Vivian's living spot. So this is their living room and like their dining room. Um, I might put like an easel or like a gym stuff, like gym stuff over here because I don't know what to do. This is probably going to be like an office area for Alice because she's a painter. And then this is their, um, this is their kitchen. And then this is going to be Eric and Alice's bedroom, their ensuite bedroom or bathroom. And then Alice, their little girl, this is her bedroom. And then this is going to be like a bathroom. And then I was playing around with like floor tiling when you guys came in, but that's what we got. Right, Rhea, thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you have the best day. Again, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Thank you for coming on by. Make sure you go practice some good self-care. All that fun stuff. But um, I'm trying to go with like an earthy, artsy feel. Like, cause she, like Alice is childish. She loves the outdoors and she's like, I think she is like, uh, like the artistic trait or, or something. Or creative, creative trait is what it is. So I'm trying to resemble or like bring that through like in their decor. Like it's really earthy, but like artsy and like fun kind of thing. So that's what I got. And they have like the pinkest, reddestest floor patterns I've ever seen in my whole life in base game. And your girl doesn't know what to do with herself right now. So this is kind of what we're trying to figure out. And I was mix matching like two of the tiles here, but I don't think that is what I want to do <laughs> because it doesn't look right to me. It looks like really almost industrial or like kitcheny. I don't know. It doesn't feel warm and cozy, but I don't know. I'm just going to like do that to like cover it up and here we go. But I also don't think that I want to have like hardwood floors throughout everything, but I also don't know. Never say never. Clay figures from Debug. Oh, that would be really cool. That would be such a fun one, Hades. Uh, for Alice, that would be wonderful. Yeah, it's not like the right art, like the, not the right vibe for artsy. I'm with you. That would be such a cute clutter idea for Alice. I really like that idea. We're going to have to do that. I'm going to go red and we're going to see maybe if I can find something that looks kind of like rustic. Again, this is all base game stuff. So like my options are super limited. But this is so pink. Why is it so pink? Oh, I get that it's supposed to be like all dilapidated and stuff. But maybe we should go with like blue or something and just switch gears because I'm about to go into a fit of madness. Y'all, Clay is cute though. Definitely artsy. It is. I like it, especially in her studio or like I'm imagining kind of like a bed surround thing where she's got like little shelves where those are kind of like sitting maybe around her bed or something or like a vanity. That would be a really cute idea. See, I like that. That's a good one. So for this, I think I'm going to go with like brown or, or like the tan color here instead of the red. Because like base game red items are tragic. Uh, Lily Tomlin as Grace. Wait, who? I am like, oh my God, if it's not Star Wars or like Disney cat things, I have no idea. <laughs> And it's kind of shameful, though, um, because I'm like not a big TV person. And let me tell you, it's a struggle. Um, The studio could be stone tile since it could be easier to clean. You could make that crazy colored room. Oh, that's a fun one, too, Hades, especially with like, I think around the time that Snowy Escape came out, they actually gave us like a whole bunch of fun swatches on this one. Like that could be really fun. Like, I think they gave us this. Oh my God, this is so their daughter's room. Grace and Frankie is in that list. Oh, she's artsy and earthy. I like it. That's cute though. How adorable. Very fun. Ooh, wait, why not? Maybe this one's a little bit more blue, but did I use this throughout the rest of the house? I didn't. I used like a different swatch. Okay, that makes me feel better. So I'm not like repeating a whole bunch of things you know, all throughout the house, like that becomes a little bit difficult for me personally. 
when I feel like I'm like repeating stuff a bunch. All right, so like, I think I could totally do this and I'm gonna move this over here. And then this could be like a fun little accent piece or something. Or I could do, Ooh, actually, we might have like a better, like something else like this. Yikes. Okay. So, um, so it's very like birch, <laughs> very 80s. Hi, Kayla. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Thank you so much. By the way, um, I am playing Among Us with Momo tomorrow. And I can't wait to like get accused of things and then immediately choke because I crack like an egg under pressure. So like that, and honestly though, I'm really looking forward to it. I always love the Among Us days. I know, I'm like so scared. Ah, oh, I love that you have the emote. I'm, oh my God, maybe I should make mine tonight or something. Like do like a little follow emote. I know Shella did it and I'm like, wait, that's a really good idea. Cause I think they have like an Among Us like character generator thing or something. Plus, like, I can just go into Photoshop and just cut it out and call it a day, too. But, like, oh, right, Fruit, it's so fun to watch. I love it. Such a really good natured group of people, though. I think any, like, any other group of people, I would be way too anxious to do anything. You know, like, I, I don't think I'd have the courage to, like, talk or <laughs> exist at that point. I don't know. I, okay, listen, I have like trust issues with Steven now because Steven has betrayed my trust for the ages. Steven acts all cute and nice. And then he goes and commits the ultimate betrayal. The ultimate betrayal. Um, He befriends you and then you think you're safe and then you're dead. I know he is so sassy. <laughs> I was like, Steven? I didn't think he had it in him, but he does. <laughs> Gotta watch your back for those ones. I'm just kidding, but like also, Steven, uh, <laughs> unbelievable. But he was, yep, yeah, right, Hades, it really does sound like Steven though. And I'm like so gullible and just so like easygoing so, so and I, it's a struggle. <laughs> Hey, is it, um, is it Hugh shirt? Welcome on in. How the heck are you? Thank you so much for coming by. Steven! <laughs> Listen, I, I've got to rehearse. I think we're on the right track, though. I really do. I feel like we're doing, we're doing good. Also, this is like bothering me. I'm going to delete that because like that looks so much better, I think. And then it just changes to this wall. I think I found it, kids. What kind of like wall thingies or not wall thingies curtains should I use like do I just go with like the the beige and let the color kind of play through that might be kind of cool oh I'm gonna do this though um I think it's under tiling this one and then we're gonna use this seriously magic you've seen some clips I I made a tiktok of it and like, I don't know whether or not I should be ashamed because watching back, I'm like, this, oh my God, this is so obvious. <laughs> like, it's so obvious, like how much he just like led up to it. And I'm like, I can't believe I didn't see that. I'm just way too trusting of people. <laughs> I'm scared help. And then the next minute, right? He did. Do we want to watch the clip though? Maybe we'll watch the clip. Hold on. Steven's an evil little turkey, but I love him anyway, like a lot. Oh my God, oh, you literally I'm scared alone. the crap out of me. I hate this. I do not like you, Zephyrin. Hi, Ralph. Hey, Zephyrin, you wanna be my buddy? Yeah, we'd be buddies. The lights are off again. La 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 la
Ah! That's the F4 trapped. I swear, if you're yeah. playing the long game, Steven, I can't trust you anymore. No. <laughs> no, I just hate being alone. I always get kicked out. I always end up in a bad situation. <laughs> yeah, do you have any suspicions as to who it is? I feel like it could be Dan. Help. Wee woo wee woo. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. No! Wee woo wee woo. Wee -woo. Hello? Zeph is, is Zeph? No, what are you saying? How do you know wee woo? I feel like something's happening. It's not me though. Oh no, I lost Kiki. If Kiki dies, I'm just gonna self evict myself. No, I do it! Hey, it's the murders you, but then also like, oh no, wee woo, wee woo, like after, like. <laughs> no, Momo, that was like over the course of like three rounds. Like, he would like buddy up to me and then I murdered him. And then the next round he was like, oh my God, me, me, me. And he's so scared. And then he did that. Like, you little jerk. Also, thank you so much, Rev Kella. Rev Kella for the raid. Welcome on by. I hope that you had a great stream. Beans, again, make sure, sorry, you were watching the video. Um, make sure you go follow Rab for the raid, though. That's so nice. How was your stream? That was like the longest of long cons that ever conned ever. Um, by Spring Sims, the adorable yellow sunshiny buddy pal. <laughs> I can't with that guy. Wee woo, wee woo. I know. It's the wee wooing after he committed the worst, most horrendous crime for me. Dab Michelle, that's so fun, Rab. Oh my God. Um, how mean was Dabs this time? Was Dabs pretty mean? Or was it like a pretty mild one, do you think? That is so fun. <laughs> Oh, God. We've been working on um, doing the renovation of the Spencer Kim Lewis household. So this is kind of what we've been up to here. And I'm kind of here for it. Like, I really like what we're doing. Oh, it was simple. Oh, thank God. Right, Becca? Oh, my God. We're playing Among Us tomorrow, by the way, everyone, in case you missed it. Like, I'm stupid excited for it. It's going to be a good time, so you're not going to want to miss it. I'm gonna do this or maybe even like put this over here. I'm making it into a long one because I don't have anything else. It's all I got. That's it. Oh, right. I know I'm stupid excited. Wait, do we have like a dresser? I'm very excited. Um, yeah, Tomorrow's Friday the 13th as well. So you know it's gonna be extra ridiculous. You know what I just realized? I forgot to order Steven's shirt because they have like a he's like a rue the day piece of merch and it's really cute and I forgot to order it because I wanted to order it maybe I'll just like print it out and like tape it to my shirt or something in true me fashion <laughs> I'm gonna order one I want to fit in mom oh my god <laughs> you got his coloring book I got some prints from him like the little fruit ones they're so stinking cute I'm gonna get little frames from and put them in my kitchen all right, bye, Rab. Thank you so much for coming on in. You're gonna wear your Rue the Day t-shirt? I like it. It's gonna be so good. I think Shella got hers and I, in true me fashion, forgot again. You know, surprising for me to forget things. I know, I know. Um, But I think I'm gonna do that though. I want this to be bigger, like big. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this and I'm going to be a filthy tool mod user. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to cry about how I have to do math. Hi, Echo. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks so much for coming on by. I'm going to do this. Oh, you know what actually would be really cool too? I don't know. That's going to like mess everything up if I do this. Hold up. I am a filthy jeweler. I love it though, Indy. 
Tool is my favorite thing in the whole universe. Aside from like cats. Is this gonna like cast a weird shadow downstairs? I might just use this because I didn't think that the mirror would look good sized up. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna try it though. <laughs> yes, Echo, this is still the same Reno. Name yourself Rue the Day. I could. Hades, that's a good one too. Nice. I don't think it casts a weird, sh weird shadow though. Here, let me try to do this. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> okay. So. I don't want that because that's going to suck for like gameplay and stuff. So one thing that I could do. Yes. I could do this. I might be able to do this. So this is technically two. And then I'm going to scale this. Oh, shoot. By the way, ads are going to play, y'all. Um, I will be right back. So I'm going to pause what I'm doing so you don't miss a thing. And I'll catch you in a minute. Only 60 seconds. It's not long. Um, hi, Mrs. W. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Trying to figure out the size. Yeah, like I kind of just poke around and I, um, until I find something that could potentially work and then I kind of just go for it. That's about it though. There's like a few other frames that could size up potentially to be like what I want them to be, but it's going to take a little bit of, a little bit of messing around with it. Aw, you got the admin loading in. Nice, welcome on, bye. I'm glad to have you. That's strange that you um that you got it while coming in because I have pre rolls disabled due to like playing ads and stuff. So that's weird. What the heck, Twitch? Why you gotta do the thing? <clears throat> Woohoo! Only ten more seconds left, so not that bad. Oh, mobile is weird. Yeah, Twitch do be twitchy. We have learned that a lot, especially in the last like month here. And we're back. Thank you guys for hanging out through ads too, by the way. I really appreciate that. I think I might be able to get like this one to work maybe. So I think I've used this one before. You can do like, I think I used this one like in a mansion that I did. So I'm going to scale this. We're going to do 1.5. I'm going to rotate ya. This might not work. Oh, she might not work. Oh! I've done something similar to this before with like a with the Judith Ward renovation, but I honest to God don't remember what the numbers were. They were like really weird. I'm gonna elevate you by like point one five. Elevate point one five. Elevate negative point zero one five. Just so it's like right in the middle. I love that. That looks so good. Okay, see, tool magic is literally mad. Or tool mod is literally magic. Tell me otherwise. Like that's so good. Hi, Paige. Welcome on by. How you doing? I am feeling pretty okay today. Like I'm still having like quite a bit of cramps and kind of issues there. But um, we are doing our best. <laughs> uh, looking fresh. I'm thinking of getting my cut and donating 13 to 14 inches. How do I like the undercut? I love it. I love it. I'm honestly, I'm kind of in the same boat though. I'm thinking about growing my hair out again. Cause like I was browsing through some of my friends' wedding photos cause they popped up in like a memory and stuff. And let me find the photo for you all.
This was in 2020. Like, I can't believe it. Also, look at how cute my friend is. Oh, look at how pretty she is. And then I was like, my hair was stupid long. Like, so long. I kind of want to, like, grow it out again, though. But I get it. But I love my undercut, Stormy. And to that, I say, hair grows back. Do the fun thing. You know, and there's ways like if you decide you don't like it, then there's ways where you can grow it out and stuff. I had to play with my mods because I live in mo ma live in mode in it. In live mode, it shows tool is installed, but I can't get it to work in build mode. Um, Chris, I don't know what happens. Are you hitting like shift T to get it to pop up? I know it was so pretty. Like that was such a good day, though. I loved that. It was amazing. Such a beautiful, beautiful day. Ah, I love my friends. Ooh, wait, this is such a fun, like, chair. Right? Like, ready to grow it out long again? It's been a few years. Like, then again, I really like how the dry time is, though, because the dry time is really, really short comparatively. Like, and I don't know if I want to deal with that again. <laughs> the dry time is everything. Ooh, I'm totally going to put this right at the end. Um, maintenance is amazing. It is. That is something that I, I agree with. Um, oh, it's very stressful to think about. Um, might have been doing control T. Oh, yeah, no, you're totally a good, you're totally good Hades. Honestly, like it's, it's a lot to kind of learn. So I don't blame you. But I actually commend you for trying to learn it, though. Grown up, you keep the, yeah, yep, I'll keep it. I'll keep the undercut, but like grow it out. I think I agree with you though. It's probably what I want to try to do, I think. Ooh, I'm going to do like this funky, like fun looking thing in the corner. Because I I rarely use like stuff like that, like the, the like floor lamps, but that looks really neat. Um... And then this is like, this could be so fun. I wonder what I should add right here though. This is supposed to be like a, the entryway to Alice and Eric's house. I wonder if instead of using like the same light fixture throughout the entire house, if I made this light fixture like the one that we use in here. That also looks really low. And now I'm very sad about it. Mm. Gosh darn it, what should I do? I like the idea. I've seen some side looks with long hair that make me wish I could pull it off, right? Nope, I really agree with you on that. Also, I just thought of something, y'all. So what if I tried this? I don't know how much, oh no. I was like, I don't know how much this is gonna mess everything up in this area but i kind of want to give it a whirl to see what this is going to look like and everything being raised by like one little pick so it's like a divide and then uh the living room and like the kitchen are a little bit lower than everything else and like these rooms over here Going along with the high forehead. Yeah, I can understand that. I get that. Hmm. Jay, uh, you, you have straight hair and two summers ago, I cut a foot off and bob and pixie and then currently growing it out. I love that though, Katie. That's so fun. Do you feel like your hair is a lot like healthier, especially after um, cutting it that short and whatnot? I feel like there's some people who... Um, feel like their ends are just a lot better after doing like a big cut like that. Very neat stuff though. Oh wait. Um, trying to imagine what I want to do in this room is really difficult. Oh, you're a swimmer and I cut it after I was done with, uh, and it's so much healthier. Aw, that's awesome though. I'm so glad that it's a lot better for you though. That's really good. This makes you feel nice, doesn't it? 
feeling cozy and comfy after is more important. So something that requires so much maintenance would end up with a pencil and messy, right? Like, I my hair is really, really, so, so really thick. So it honest to God makes me wonder like what that would look like for me um, with like the dry time and stuff. But I guess there's only one way to tell. I can always cut it off again if I wanted to. Also, I realize that I... Oops. I can put those back. There we go. There's something else. I want to do something on this wall. So like, what should I do? <sighs> there's only like so many options that I have. This one, this one's kind of interesting a little bit, but like, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do that because like, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe a little splash of like the gold color is kind of fun, but I miss my hair. So I'm growing it on hopes of a wolf cut, right? Oh, Katie, that'd be awesome. I want my long hair back, but it takes forever to grow, right? I have curly hair and I cut it above shoulder in the spring and summer and it was down to my butt and I want it back, right? Like uh, after having mine about like chin length and stuff for a few years now, I, I think that I'm ready for something a little bit longer again. But if I decide against it I, or I get tired of it, then I could always just cut it. But, mm -hmm. but it's hard when you like swing the opposite way, you know, like when you cut it and then you're waiting for it to grow, like kind of like I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Very relatable stuff. Do you have any like cute swatches or something? Oh my God, this one's kind of funky. But again, it doesn't really go with her vibe of like that funky, like artsy vibe that I want her to have throughout this house. Ooh, this one's kind of different. And same with this one. <clears throat> my foofball's fur is very thick and I brush it with a special brush that gets the undercoat and she loves it because it helps her cool off. Ooh, those undercoat rakes are amazing. Like actual magic as far as I'm concerned. Those are so fun. Also, what are you doing there? Get out of there. Huh. I also don't know if I like that specifically. So one question for y'all though, should I go ahead and make this a little bit taller since I increase the room size by like one or increase like the, the platform level by like one? I think that's probably good. It didn't appear to mess anything up up here, which is good. I have an idea. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to figure it out in just a sec. <laughs> um, I want to do like another planter bed thing. So like maybe I will do this. Maybe. Like it blocks it off really nicely. I think it could look really cool. I'll even go like a little taller to like mask it in maybe. I can choose like, here's the bottom of the basement thingy. Cause Alice is still, oh no, wait. Oh, it's raised. Wait, that's so fun. And then do this. Ooh, and then I could go. I don't know. I'm just, I'm playing around with stuff purely at this point. Plants, yeah, like more plants on the inside. I think that's kind of what I'm thinking too. Um, that told me compared to a woman getting her hair thin was the exact thing my mom did the next summer. The short haircut, thin pixie cut. Of course, looking back, I realized that that was also flirting with my mom. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> right? Like I'm, I'm also that kind of person where I'm just like so socially anxious all the time that I never can think that someone could possibly like flirt with me. And then I look back and I'm like, oh, that was most definitely what was happening here. But that is incredibly relatable. Um, <laughs> I get it. Ooh, wait, these are kind of cute. So like, I never use these, but also think of how weird and fun these would be. Think of how cute this would be. Got some weird, like funky plants and stuff inside the house. 
Maybe we could even do like a an outdoor with the outdoor activity thing. Um uh gardening thing! Garden thing! Yeah, almost like a bonsai style thing. Like I don't know where I put it. This corner might be kind of fun. And then I could do like this maybe. And then slap this like in this corner. And boop, there you go. Oh my God, look at how cool that would be. I like the balance of that a little more too. You're so dense, it's so funny. I remember how in middle school, a friend was playing hide and seek with me on Team Fortress 2. Want to be alone with me in the game as much as possible. My sister think he was crushing hardcore. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, that is totally a thing that certain people will do sometimes. I get that, right? Like, I think I really like this too. We could get some like other little ferns or like some sort of flowers to put in here. Almost like flowering bushes would be kind of cute. I feel like it would be very Alice. As long as it doesn't like mess with the like coloration of stuff, because sometimes it can be weird. <clears throat> Size it down. Ooh, the orange and the blue. Sign me up for that right yeah I never I never really do stuff like that too like I think it's really interesting I think it could be a lot of fun instead of this though I think that something cute would be in order like something a little different uh maybe like an actual like something like this just because I think it'll like balance it a little different it looks different it looks you know not like the same boring textures all across i think that could be kind of cool or no that one's like too short i think this one does feel like more earthy ish though Right? Like, yeah, I think that other one did go really well, but I wonder if they have like this brown one that could be kind of fun. Ooh, that brown is really cute. What do you think about that? Could totally put like the platform coloring on the side. Um, I like this idea is giving me an idea for a space I've been struggling with because it has such an open space. Yeah, right? Like just like indoor planters are kind of just like a fun way to kind of like marry that, I think. I'm also going to search for orange to see if there's there's like nothing good for orange. But I think that maybe I'll go ahead and use this in here instead because the orange and the blue and stuff looks really cool. And then we could find like some sort of like a cool orange rug to use in here, sort of. Like maybe I'll do this. Aw, thank you hard. I'm so glad you like that. Or, th some, or thank you so much. I'm so glad you like the house. So good. Um, Let's scale this by like 1.5 because I don't quite want it that large. Oh, you know what would be interesting? There we go. I was pushing the wrong key combo. Um, I don't know if I want to do like, hmm, maybe we can do like regular. Oh, no, those are like, ooh. Wait, why were those so big? Okay. You know, tool sometimes breaks your brains. Yeah, yeah, it's tool mod that allows you to scale and stuff. It's really awesome. Like, honestly, probably like my favorite mod in the game. It just allows you to do so much. Oh, butt cheeks. Okay, so this is like a little bit too big. 
So I wonder if we could almost use them as like regular size. And then like space them out a little different. I'm trying to like create like a, a cool, like different style runner almost. It's kind of what I'm trying to do. And I think this is kind of neat because like the sim will come through here and then they'll like walk across this way. And I think that's like a really good way to, like a really good spot to put it. But I also want to do something here. Hi, I just scale your curtains after watching it the other day and I wasn't sure how, thank you. You're very welcome. Honestly, like scaling your curtains is such a simple thing to do that just makes it fit better, you know? Like so much better. It's like, if I did this spacing, I would have to do this. Honestly, that's not terrible. What do you guys think about that? Hmm. It's like a, a different sort of like runner. I also want to do like something different on this wall because this is not really what I'm vibing with right now. Uh, I think I want to try to go like this plaster, maybe. And see if that's something that looks kind of cool. Then we'll do like the, the wall being like white or something. Or even like the dark brown that matches the like the windows. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that doesn't look half bad. Brings a little a little bit of texture, I think. Um. Also, these pillars are gonna be the end of me. Oh, come on. I gotta like pick up a new one every time because it won't let you like eyedropper them. Stop! Ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is. You can't even notice it on the top anyway because like it's platformed on the top. So I think that's pretty good. Um, Looking all right. Oh, wait, let me try to like move this down here. There we go. So it's like on the floor. Hmm, so, so. Ooh. I could do like a little bit of orange on that. Hi, also Peony, thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Nice to meet you. Welcome on by. I hope you're having the best day. Thanks so much for coming on in. Um, I think this, ooh, wait, what if I, ooh. Ooh, okay. Orange and blue are like my favorite things though to like mess with. I love, love, love working with orange and blue. And maybe I'll do like, just like a nice wood tone over here. Cause that might be too much orange, I think. All right, looking kind of cute, if you ask me. Can we try like the silver or even like the white? Maybe I'll try the white because like that brown doesn't quite match and it looks like it should or like we were trying to match it, but it doesn't. I don't know. Also, Magic got a pickup line. Okay. So what do we have here for you today, my friend? Hmm. <clears throat> ooh, 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 magic, I've got it. Is your name Microsoft? If so, can I crash at your place? <laughs> I'm also super sorry for that. Um, mental image that I have kind of given you. <laughs> Freaking Microsoft. All right, I really quite like this like little entryway, but this would be so interesting actually now that so, I, so. I think about it. Hi, Moonstar, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden, I'm so glad to have you. I almost wonder if I should pick something that's like orange or something that's like a little closer to what we, like the blue that we used up in this room. That blue is kind of fun. Aw, Janie, you're falling asleep. I'm so sorry about that. I hope you feel better. 
I really do. That's really unfortunate. Um, all right. So this is going to be Alice's room. going to go ahead and we're going to just take a peek and see like what kind of funky fun beds could we do? Um, Alice is like our child that loves color. Like we've pretty much determined that she's just like, what's your favorite color? And she says, yes. <laughs> and that is her answer to that. Um, this is going to be kind of interesting, though, considering like the different colors that we picked. Oh, the pink with the yellow is so cute. POV, you're minding your business is have cannonballs for your window, right? <laughs> Accurate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> My anxiety could never, but it'd be funny, admittedly. So, should we do something like fun on her like floors or something? Almost like a tile. I don't know. It feels really, really weird and like too much. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, Olivia. Wait, would this not be the cutest if we tried to use like something like this? Yeah, Olivia, not Alice. You got it. Yep, this is Olivia's bedroom. You are right on the money. Um, these ones have some fun swatches on them. Like this. Ooh. That bright pink is so interesting. That is so weird. And then I'm going to try to use like, I was thinking about like the wallpaper that I wanted to use. And I think they have like this one. But it has some like, really interesting swatches on it too like something like that orange circle rugs thanks lady i tried to make them almost like in a you know, a runner kind of situation but like modern ish i really really like the idea of them going across here but i also really like the idea of them like being here instead like in the middle of actual everything or even like right here. Like, what do y'all think about that? Or even like not even just like this, but just like straight across. I think the straight across like bring like because, you know, you're actually walking across it because otherwise they're like half under the dresser. Janie, aw, I hope you feel better. That's really unfortunate. I really do. I hope to see you again really soon, my friend. Good to see ya. So, Olivia is, like we said, she is basically like a color explosion kind of kid is what we're doing. So like, there's a lot gonna be going on here. Like, I kind of love this purple color though. That is so interesting. And especially like this rainbow confetti one. The carpet is a bit much, but I think the middle, the rug in the middle breaks it up. Yeah, yep. I, th I do think the carpet might be a little bit much. I think you're right. What if, I think if I do this right, this rug will, no, it's not going to fit the room because like it's a little bit too wide. Like if I made it one square this way, this rug would fit this room almost perfectly. Like this. Like, you can't even really notice it. Oh no, but like a little bit in mom and dad's room. I could also put like a shower tub combo there too. Like if I did that. Ugh, what do I want to do? Maybe just like the regular rug in the middle. I do wonder. I'm gonna try this. So this was like one and a half, I think. Yeah, because I feel like just like right in the middle of things. But you think that this is like a little bit much? Okay, so let me see here. <clears throat> the flower thing is so cute. Like that's kind of fun sometimes in like certain, certain ways, but I do think it would be like a little bit much in this room. Um. Hmm. 
Um, because they don't really have like good yellow colors. They have like this one, but that this one's such like a weird, almost like green color. <gasps> Janie, you got like a um a pickup line, did ya? I know, right? Like it's almost, it's like barely. I could probably size it down just a little bit more, honestly. Like by because I think that was like 0.75. 1.75 I could probably do it as like 1.65 like or something so I could try it again like pretty easily all right Janie I got a pickup line for you hmm oh oh Janie do you like raisins <clears throat> well how about a date <laughs> wait wrong button that's fine yeah, it's very like Olivia is probably the embodiment of maximalist, I think. Clam chowder right now, then soon bed. Ooh, nice. I have never really like I don't like clams or like seafood. So I'm very curious about like if I would like clam chowder. Very, very curious about that. I do think that this like wallpaper or oh, what if we tried this one? Because they do have like this cute blue. <gasps> the blue and the purple. Look at how fun that might be for her. What a, what other kind of like swatches do we have on this bed though? This is my main question. Because like the pink and like the orangey color is really, really, really fun. And I think like if we, since we don't have city living, that this might be the most approachable one. Like the approachable swatch. So what do you have? Do we have like a yellow hue for this one? Oh, we so do. Hmm. But that pink and like the purple is just way too stinking cute. What do we got? We could do the pink walls. Honestly, all of these pink colors are really ridiculous and I'm kind of here for that. So I might be so inclined to pick that one. Oh my God, I didn't know this one existed. I live under a rock when it comes to like these weird swatches and stuff. Why brown? That's interesting. Um, Like very interesting. <gasps> Hi, Silver. I stepped away during a conversation about hairstyles and I wanted to say I'm growing my hair out to do a wolf cut. Nice. That's going to look amazing though. Oh my gosh. I I wondered about like maybe trying to do bangs in my hair, but I have no idea. I think it's a little bit of a commitment for me. Oh my gosh, of oh, the boat wallpaper. Oh, I think it's too noisy. I don't really like the boat wallpaper. That one is a, like pretty over the top though. All right, so I've kind of like attached myself to the idea of that rug, but I wonder if we could do something fun like this. Also, oh my God, this is going in their bedroom as like their rug. This is going in their bedroom. I know Angel, the brown one is so interesting, isn't it? It's kind of cute. Like I gotta like the color schemes that we've got going on. Oh wait, you know what would be super cute? Um, I might be able to find like a good pink color or even like a blue to go in this bedroom right now with this. I think it's going to be more in these like greeny blue hues though. <sighs> or even like a weird yellow green. Do you have the right color for me? <laughs> We're going to come so stinking close to this. This is going to be ridiculous. Um, oh God, these ones are so close. Like, I want this to be like very over the top Olivia. This almost works though. Or like that. Ooh, it's a little bit more like plummy colored, but it's fun. I think we could do like a different color of rug somehow for her. I don't know like if I would end up doing like 
I don't know what I would do for her because these ones are like the white colors. But I think they're probably the best ones that we can get. 1970s are from the build items and color swatches. Yeah, right, Magic? Same. Sometimes you kind of can, can't you? I'm going to see if I can come closer. Because we, I've only used like these three swatches here, but I know that we have like some of these that you can like potentially get even closer to them. Like this. Imagine. Okay, so like we're pulling out that green color, right? And then imagine if you do like a blue one. Oh my God, this is totally her. <gasps> Look at how fun. Now this is Olivia. So, By the so way, guys, I'm going to play ads for three minutes so that we don't have to think about it for like an hour and a half. I'll be right back. Also, sweet baby girl, thank you so much for coming on by. I really appreciate you. Catch you guys in a couple minutes here. Um, but don't worry, like I said, I'm going to pause so you won't miss a thing. Um, all right. Oh my God, Tucker, that's so funny that you picked like this wallpaper. I'm honestly a little bit iffy on like her bed right now. But we're going to look at some other ones to see what we can do. Um, this is just like the first like funky cute one that I found. Rotten lady, thank you so much for that lurk. I hope you have a good day. This is such a fun color scheme, though. Like, I'm kind of here for this. Except for like when the wallpaper like leaks outside, though. While we're on our ad break, I'm going to go ahead and just peek at some of the beds that we have. Honestly, they might have some good ones. Um, Some photos from my mom is for 70, uh, high school in their 70s. I love that. Oh no, someone canceled on you. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Can you guys believe that it's already Thursday, though? Like, I feel like this week has just flown by. I don't know about y'all, but that's kind of how I feel. I wish they had more, like, fun swatches for the base game items, because I feel like they're all super basic. Hi, Janie. See you later. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon. Hmm. And like the flower rug came with like a different pack, I think, didn't it? I'm pretty sure. Right, Crystal, though, for real. Hmm. <clears throat> Got about like a minute left on ads. I might have found like the perfect rug for her bedroom. I think it's really cute and I think you guys are going to like it. I'm done touching my computer now. Oh, I'm just really excited for this bedroom. Oh, woo wee. God, it's going to be so adorable. Like, I wonder if I can almost give her like a, a canopy kind of look going on for her, uh, like around her bed, almost like platform it, maybe. So it's not so flat and so weird. I could totally see myself doing something like that with her. And five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. So we don't have to worry about ads for like an hour and a half now, but... Imagine this rug, y'all. I think this is really fun. And I think it's almost perfect for her. Even if I like hide the little yellow part under her bed. Spots on spots. I know, isn't it so cute? So I kind of took like a meander through some of these beds and stuff. This one doesn't really fit. This one's kind of ugly. This one's also kind of ugly. Like I'm not feeling a lot of these swatches that they have, like this one might be like the closest, but then I just like this one a little bit more. I think it looks better. 
it came from parenthood originally but like i think it's just it's good all right mimo see you soon thank you so much for coming on by so how do y'all feel if i do like a cute little lofted bed area i think this would be adorable so, so for her personally damon hey how the heck are you welcome to the bean garden i'm so glad to have you how you doing today um and then i could do like a so, little so staircase or something hey is it erica how the heck are you welcome to the bean garden so nice to meet you i hope you're having a good day it's base game yeah this is all base game I've seen beds sunken on platforms and it's actually adorable. Yeah, I've seen the sunken bed thing too. I think this might work for height, but I think I'm probably just for like good measure because she's like a child and she's a little bit shorter. I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller, I think. I'm gonna do this and go like that. And then I'm gonna grab this. Hey, Casper, welcome on in. We are working on our um, Spencer Kim Lewis household, and I think this is coming together really cute, really adorable stuff. Um, and we're working on their daughter's room right now. <clears throat> so this is Alice's bedroom, or not Alice, but Olivia. Olivia, her name. Um, let's have a peek. What do we want to do for like the bottom of this? Ooh, we could do like pink. But they also have like cute colors here that I might be able to mess with. So we've got like blue, pink. I wonder if I could go more of like that purpley color and bring that in. Or we could just do something completely different like yellow. Now that's cute. I, I use the dot carpet sometimes, but this is kind of making me realize that I might want to do it like a little bit more, I think, like more often. Um, I feel like I want to do something different up here, um, like a different carpet. I don't know. Bye, Chris. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for coming on in. Erica, yay, I'm so glad. The giraffe pattern. Ooh, let's try that. Hmm. That is kind of fun. It's different. And it's all base game. Yes, yes, this is this is all base game. So this is um Alice from the or Olivia from the Spencer Kim Lewis household's room. So she's very like quirky and loves color and totally like all up her alley here. I feel like the blue stairs just different, but the wooden ones are kind of fun. And I think for good measure, I might try to steal like one of the, uh, there's like a base game. There's like a bunch of like funky colors that they have for like the railing and stuff. And I might choose like this weird blue or something to like rail it off. Um, I also might have something else. Like they have got a handful of them. What are those funky colors? Or even just like lean into like that yellow color here. I think that looks even better. Connected square puzzle on that upper when you had it up. Yeah, like I kind of don't mind that one too. It's a little more like childlike and fun. I do wonder though, if I could find like that. Oh, that matches. And then we can even do like the railing here. On the edge. Uh, I could even do white on that because it might look a little bit better with like their interior stuff. White. Let's see if I can find like the correct kind of white. Or even like the cheapest staircase because I'm also game for that. Yeah, there we go. That is fun. Listening and cleaning, I, Javelin, a plumber. Oh, you have a, a plumber coming over because there's a huge leak under my floorboards. No, that really sucks. Oh my God, I hope that like the damage is really minimal though, Erica. That really stinks, I'm sorry. My boyfriend and I just bought our first house and like, ooh, I understand how so, so. anxious that might be. <laughs> Doesn't it, it ties it in so well. I'm kind of obsessed. 
we're gonna do like a lot of really fun funky decor in here like all of the little circle things look at how cute this is yeah the giraffe isn't it i think like actually putting the giraffe in here is gonna be cute so we've got like giraffe print in here this is so cute i'm kind of in love with this and then for her like little curtain we'll do like something like that maybe do like a different color like because i don't quite like what we've got going on with that could even go a little more neutral and just do like white if we really wanted to but the blue looks really cute thank you so much i appreciate that if you're new here my name's zephyr and my pronouns are she her and i am really glad to meet you i hope that you're having a good time <clears throat> and we're gonna do like oh wait i gotta have like the big blarfy toy or something or uni oh she would totally have uni oh she would have uni like no questions asked like all of the fun little like stuffed animals and stuff i don't want like the toys per se but i just want like the stuffed animals so let's go decorations kids oh god let's search all because sometimes these are weird so so hi star crossing how the heck are you welcome to the bean garden oh my god toady i feel you i love that hey also uh, is it v vadik welcome to the bean garden i think i might have missed saying hi to you but welcome i hope you're doing well kids hollers room seriously i usually never do these types of things like this so i'm like really having a blast with this Spencer Kim. Yeah, um, they are a base game family. So they're like on the in Willow Creek, like on the far left side of the map. Toadie, this is like you in a bedroom for real. Yep, it's a base game sim family. You got it. That's it. That's exactly it. Do you have like, oh my God, that's so cute. I might even do. <gasps> surfaces let's try to find like a good desk that this will blend in with i don't think that i'll be able to find it per se but like imagine if i could get this to look like one big cohesive like unit on the edge that would be so stinking cute platform for the bed is amazing i wish it could be cool and put drawers in there right oh my god you could kind of like emulate it if you wanted to like if you wanted here's an idea uh if you wanted you could use like tool mod or like delete the walls and stuff and then you could like slap these in here like this i'm gonna do like a negative like two or something but um and then you could like back them up Like that if you wanted um because you could totally do this like cute little built-in like drawers and things seriously tool mod is amazing <laughs> i had a giraffe theme in high school i painted my closet giraffe print that's so cute i like that was it just like the normal like brown and like the yellowy color that you ended up going with that is such an adorable, like, that's so cute. I love that. Ooh. So these kind of go well together. Like, I wonder if I could, like, make this a little bit bigger, like 1.15. So, so. And, like, or one point, even, like, one point, like, three zero. Hi, Cater. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Whoops. A little bit too big. One point... <laughs> two seven no okay one point two six also no um one point two five is just a smidge too small i think ah uh, hi mimo welcome on back i'm so glad to see you today okay one point two five four mm 
my god this is so fun uh move the mods folder if we download the ea app um i do not know i i'm not sure i think probably because i think it's probably like a different directory so i think you might have to oh you don't know me anything of where i ah uh, okay nope rotten lady's got the answer for you <laughs> so that's good to know though that you don't really don't have to do a lot with it which is great how does this look like is this too much with like a little built-in kind of thing I think it looks so fun and then we could put like maybe like stick the giraffe right there in the corner so it kind of like fills it up a little bit if we wanted oh it replaces origin completely nice all right no very good to know so this is gonna be a little bit weird though because like it's slightly larger maybe i'll just do like the normal one like that because like if your sim puts stuff on top of it it's gonna like disappear you know and i don't want that so maybe i'll just keep it here all that fuss for nothing but it's fine hi at welcome on in so glad to see you today what's popping my friend um thanks kate i'm glad you like it we're doing a base game um revision of the spencer kim lewis household so this is a base game one this is the spencer kim lewis house what kind of chair would she have? Let's do like almost something like this might be kind of cute because they do have some fun colors. <gasps> that light purple chef's kiss. Literally, that light purple is so perfect. <clears throat> this is so fun. Um, OK, decorations and we're going to go under here. And I want to find like this or something and then I don't know what else she would have she's like a weird quirky fun kid so I want like all the weird fun stuff let's go over here and see if I can find like different adorable like little paintings for her to have on her walls This is so cute. The robot lamp too. Yeah. Is this the one that you're talking about? Or is there like an actual like lamp that's a robot? Again, I have no idea <laughs> about like any of this stuff. Oh, she's going to be one of those kids with like the weird clown painting because like I think it fits kids rooms for some reason. Seriously, January weather has been really bizarre, Chi. Like we have not been able to do anything um like it's been like super cold and then it's like 50 degrees like it's so weird all the plants are getting so confused thank you nature girl i'm so glad you like it exactly like just because like the color spots honestly though for real i know i think olivia's gonna love this room if i don't say so myself what other kind of like weird oddities could we put in here? There's like a sculptured, a skewered sculpture aftermath. Oh, that's weird. A llama thing. Those are more for like mom, I think. Oh my God, the little teddy bear. We're totally gonna put like the weird teddy bear in here. And like a big fun armchair. I'm going to slap this like right there, though. That's so cute. The bear chair. Yeah, isn't it so cute? Should I put this like here instead, though? So she has like a little shelf. I wonder if I could do like a dresser. A giraffe carpet with a giraffe in the room. Thanks, Stevie. I'm glad you like it. Um, I think if they view it, it can make them like upset or something. But it's only if they like take time to view it a whole bunch or something like that. Which really is not all that bad, I don't think. Hopefully. <gasps> the weird blue bear with a pink heart. That's so sweet. I think this one comes with like a really fun. Yup, that's the one. This is the chair. Um. So I'm thinking about giving her like a dresser. Like the dresser could be really, really, really cute. But I honestly don't know, like, where I should put it. We've got everything, like, really, like, crammed into this room. And I love this. This is so cute. 
that chair i know isn't it fun it's a base game one too so like you really get a lot of a lot of interesting things in base game could do this we could do like weird orange like a pop of orange on this side so not everything is like the same color tone i'm gonna do like negative point uh five oh there now it's on the floor because it was floating because of like the platforms outside because they're up a little bit and then this is like down uh decorations we're gonna grab like a mirror oh this one is so cute wait right here there we go that's a good one the little mirror ah, i want this bedroom for me listen i'm like 31 i want this bedroom for me like no joke like I'm kind of obsessed with this and then this looks like a like a little vanity situation too I'm gonna move this here I'm gonna grab like go under like surfaces and then do this hi AT thank you so much for that lurk I appreciate that little teddy bear and then we're also going to do like maybe I will straight up like put this over here instead like the weird robot lamp thingy oh it like weirdly like changed height and stuff oops I'm gonna have to use tool mod to get this back down again though I think this one was like, hold on, let me see. Um, elevate, let's do like negative point two. I think it did negative point five. Yeah, and then I elevated it by point two five. Okay. But that's all right. We can mess with our numbers a little bit. Oh. I don't know if he's got a floaty butt. Like I don't think that he does. Um, no, he doesn't. I thought he did, but he does not. I'm okay with that. All right. Um, and just so I don't have like two blue things over here, I'm gonna go ahead and change the bear's color. Maybe we'll do something else like. Hmm, the blue. Wait, no, that's also blue. Dang it, the yellow. Okay. Looking a little bit better, to be honest. Maybe I'll do this and then maybe I'll like change this to like green or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into things too much. I think this is fine. Yes, I really like that. Okay, so like we've got like a bunch of really cute, adorable, tiny little things kind of sprinkled throughout this bedroom. Ooh, you know, it'd be really nice if we did a lamp like a table lamp right here, whatever this one's going to be. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I think it was like just the shadow or something. I think you're right. <gasps> Weird. I like it. I never use this, but I think this is like really strange and perfect for her style and her taste. This is adorable. <gasps> you redeemed a burn. Okay. Hmm. What do I have for you, my friend, right now? Ooh, I'm a snowflake because I've fallen for you. <laughs> that one's for you, Casper. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, oh, weird. I didn't know this came in like these weird other colors. I'm going to do the yellow. That's so fun. Like, I'm kind of in love with this bedroom, though. This is so cute. Okay, what other kind of like weird oddities should we have on this wall? Should I do like the weird little like unicorn thing? I feel like that's going to be a real. Oh, my God. I feel like this is perfect. The weird little unicorn baby. We could do like the yellow. The blue one is really cute, though. It kind of breaks it up. Seriously, right? This would be like the burn like, or like the childhood bedroom of my dreams. I am with you. 
like a hundred percent. I would love to be able to like have a bedroom like this. Um, that one feels a little bit too like adult to me though. Like this one does. Same with that one. That's super cute. I wonder if we could do, wait, where's this mural thingy come from? Oh, that's too much, but maybe, just maybe I could find out what to do with like mom's room maybe or something. Oh, yours is covered in beanie babies. That's so cute. I really like that idea. Like little beanie babies. Wouldn't that be ideal if we could get things like that here? What if I did this? And then found like V's. Aw, how fun. <gasps> Wait, they have different swatches? I honestly had no idea they had different swatches on this stuff. Are you forking kidding me? I could have been done doing this like the entire time with this. I had no idea that we had different swatches on this because this is totally going here. I know the polka dot one, isn't it so cute? Like, look at those. Like with the purple, I love the different colors here though, but I agree like that purple one would be so sweet. I'm also gonna do like the cloud thing. This. I know that mirror, isn't it so cute? Do you love it like this? It came with a base game update. Hi, right? Yay, we got balloons. I think it's so sweet. And we're going to do like little cloud things all around here. Like it's her job. Like, I love this. Um, The cloud light for toddlers and kids room. Same. I haven't used them in a while, but I do feel like it's definitely like a really good touch, though. Do like little puffs of clouds everywhere. Oh my God, this is so sweet. Like this bedroom, I can't, guys, I can't. I'm deceased. This is the sweetest little bedroom. Here's my rub. I never really actually play with the game. Oh, really? You never play with the walls up? I do all the time. Cause like, I listen, I work hard on this. <laughs> I work really hard on these bedrooms like this. So like, I need to have it. You can't see. Oh, I just I play like this all the time. Like, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. Wait, we got to have like the the weird light thing. Or like the Kulala Defender thingy. <gasps> A little ladybug. That's so weird. I like it. Where's the light? Um, like the Kulala Defender light thing. I think it's here under walls and here it is and it's always like really 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 big so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it small and then give it a cute color yes I think a uh, the heart led thing would be a super cute on the desk size down of course oh honey puckle oh my gosh I wish that I had that item right now because this is base game only but that would be like honestly the perfect addition to this like for real it would you are so right. Hi. Hi, Justin. How are you? Good to see you today. I hope you're having a good one. We are doing um, Olivia's bedroom right now. And I'm kind of obsessed with the way this has turned out. The partial wall view from Mixed View. Ah, right, right, right. Like this one. The cutaway. Yeah. The thing is, I think the reason why I don't use like those walls is because I use pillars a lot um like a lot <laughs> so I think that's probably why I just kind of like conditioned myself from day one to do it I know right like you'd hide you'd hoard like ridiculous items under the loft right you would like old sims games mm -hmm. exactly like I am obsessed with this bedroom I think this is probably one of my favorite kids rooms that I've ever made like in this game I can confidently say that like that is so fun Oh my God, I wanna live in this house. Like this, that's probably my favorite kid's room. 
like and this is remember this is just base game so like you can see just the amount of stuff that you can do with just base game like with that it's so neat also oh my god wait this is the ensuite okay so now we're on to like the last two rooms of this no oh my god dang it i still have two more i'm so sad it's fine i'm gonna do this bedroom because this intrigues me um and i want to try to see what we can do so i can do Ooh, we can do like orange on some of these like i don't know if i want to do these like thing these window curtains entirely or if i want to do like these ones the thin ones because these ones just feel a little bit too i don't know childish in certain applications and i feel like these ones are like a little bit more chic plus i can pull like those gorgeous colors from here a little bit easier i think on these just because of the way the color lays on these ones Oh, it would be your art room, though, right? Like a fitness potion immediately upon entering Simland, right? <laughs> yup, pretty much. I understand that. Why is it getting like so much darker every time I'm adding the curtains? Is that like a thing or is that just like my brain? That's weird. Oh, screaming for orange walls. Oh, I think that would be so cute to like pull from this. Wait, OK, like hear me out. I'm gonna do, so, so. cause she's like earthy artsy. I'm gonna do this. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited right now. Hi, is it Corchy? How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. I'm so glad to meet you. Thanks so much for stopping on by. So we're gonna do orange on these walls and I'm praying to the Sims gods that I can get like the proper color of orange. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. Give me the good color of orange. Okay, I think this works out pretty well, actually. Aw, thank you, Corchi. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Oh, and that's how it's pronounced. Yes! Oh my god, I feel so cool whenever I can pronounce someone's name like that properly. The lighter peach color. Ooh, wait, cat, hold on. So, like, let's go here. Orange. And, like, this one. That might be really cute. I kind of like the darker one just with like the curtains that we chose though, but that would be really, really, really cute. Hmm. If I decide I don't like the orange, we're definitely going to give that one a try. Like for real. I really like that. Um, Hi, Dahlia. Welcome back. Good to see you today. By the way, if y'all are new here, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I hope you're having a good time. We are doing a renovation of the Spencer Kim Lewis household. And this is a base game only build that we've been working on for a bit. And it's coming together. We're like in the final moments of it, I guess you could say. I also really like this color a little better in this room, especially with like the divide now. It just makes it feel a little better. Uh, a bubble machine outside. Aw, we don't have, um, we're doing base game only though, Stevie. That would be awesome for them to have a bubble machine. Aw, that's so cool, Kat. I'm so excited. Good stuff. Good stuff. That rug's high fancy. It is, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like, it's so good. Um, it came with the holiday, like, pack thingy. Like, the holiday, like, the free holiday pack. I am obsessed and we're going to, oh my God, we're going to do uh, what were they bidding on? This is in Willow Creek. So this is like uh, the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Um, it's like on the far left side of the map. Um, and it's like really big. It's a big eyesore. It's a blended family. So basically like the top floor is Olivia, Eric and Alice. So there's like uh, a man, a guy and a girl and then their daughter. And this is Olivia. Like, she's so cute. Like, she's adorable. Look at her outfit. And that was her bedroom that we just decorated. Um, She loves just color. She just is so fun and so, like, alive and quirky. And I love her. Um, And her mom is more like the earthy, uh, like, artsy type. So we tried to, like, really present that in their home a little bit to the best we could. So then... 
um, they live with Eric's mom. This is Eric's mom's like venue, essentially on the second floor. So we got our bedroom and like her own little like hangout spot. And the rest of their house is like really chic and like modern earthy kind of stuff. Um, but then Alice's mom or Alice's dad lives here. And he is like, we're theorizing that he's like a retired architect. And it's like really industrial feeling and stuff. And this is like his little suite. And there he is. That loft for the planter. How do we clean it? The loft for the planter. Wait, what? Oh, and then downstairs, they have like a big dining room. And then they have like a big kitchen. Yep, this is on the gallery. And this is actually going to be for um, our, what's it called? Our save file. So this is base game only. And you can kind of see everything that we've done in here so far. So now, oh my God, we have 11,000 simoleons to finish their bedroom and two bathrooms and like an office. Okay. We've got like a little bit of pinchy pinch stuff going on. And honestly, this is like 460 simoleons. Do we like this enough to keep that? I think it's really cool. The double tables. Yeah, isn't it so fun? It's different, isn't it? Like such an interesting looking bed. That one is pretty expensive though, all things considered. So let's see. I'm trying to pick something that's like kind of modern, but like, I don't know. I'm not really sure. This is gonna be the trick though, is finding something that really suits this like aesthetic that we've kind of got going on in here. Let's see. This one's kind of got like a cool back on it. I might even try to go for something that's like a little more neutral. Almost like that. Like this, honestly, isn't really that bad of a vibe for this bed, I don't think. Um, have a hard time with furniture that cuts in the windows. Yes, yeah, I know. I understand that too. I've kind of learned to just like embrace it to a point. <laughs> the force, right? You gotta use the force. I know, it's it's really difficult though. Um just thinking of how like your sim would clean something. Hi, Catsby. Welcome on by. I'm so glad to see you today. Thanks for coming on in. Um, ooh. Sims charm. Yeah, like when stuff clips. Exactly. <laughs> Very relatable. Um, these double beds. See, this is like the cheapest of the cheapest bed I think we have ever had in The Sims. But getting in a little bit of that blue color wouldn't be terrible, but I also don't think that like, that's gonna be the spot for it. Like, what if I did? I almost love doing that a little bit, to like blend the, the curtains in together, maybe a little bit, I don't know. And then you could even do like, oh my God, we've got some like really fun, like stripey looking curtains, almost. If you kind of feel me. Like, I think that's kind of fun, personally. Where you get like all of the colors that kind of come together. And then this, I can take like the tool mod and do like negative 0.15. Hi, Lava, thank you so much for coming on in. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. I'm streaming at noon, um, and then we're playing Among Us with like Lil Simsy and Pals and stuff tomorrow. So I hope you guys will come hang out with me and watch me um, miserably try to accuse my friends of murder while being incredibly wrong at the same time. Um, still feel bad for what I did to Mivyard. Poor freaking Miv. I was so confident, but she was not the imposter that one time. And I can't so, believe so. that I, like, betrayed her, that poor little thing, <laughs> in the way that I did. I personally think that's close enough. I'll take it. And then I'm going to, like, change the, the inside curtains to, like, blue. Or that teal color. Wait, that's not the right one. I think I might have them wrong.
Hello? Okay, it's this one for sure. There we go. Okay, that is so cool. I really like that. Also, Justin, you got a pickup line? Hmm. Do I think you deserve one? I'm just kidding. Um, I like the mod pod twin sleeper with the gray and pink pattern. I think the headboard on that one, though. Ooh, right, Stevie? Yeah, I like them both. Let's I'll check that one out in just a sec, though. I think that one will be good. <clears throat> Justin, did we go to school together? I could have sworn we had chemistry. <laughs> You know, things that I would never say to someone in real life, even a little bit. Ah! <laughs> so good. <laughs> so you said you think it would be Mod Pod Twin Sleeper, like this one. And then that actually. Like this, the headboard, the gray and pink pattern. So like we have, oof, we have this one that looks really cute. Or even like that bluish color. Like this one. Oh, how do we feel about that? It brings in like that teal and a little bit more of that gray. I think I like this one or this one. One of the stripey ones. Did you just fart? Because you just blew me away. I love it. <laughs> Listen. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead. I'm going to mess around with the idea of like some kind of like a grayish thing to go with this. I know, right? It, it almost, yeah, it almost could be a burn, couldn't it? Like, I think this one comes with like a, almost like a gray tone that we might be able to mess with. Ooh, like right there. See? The auto mod was on top of me real fast, right? Auto mod is like... A big old stinky snitch sometimes. Like unnecessarily. <laughs> like at times. All right. We've got some like potential built in action going here. Like this could be kind of cool. I'm almost thinking about instead of like having this be like super square, almost thinking about doing this to kind of like give ourselves some dead space. Just because I think it would be really cool looking. I know, right? Like my dream bedroom. I'm basically doing that right now. Um, <laughs> you're so right, though, Tootie. Like I am basically building my dream bedroom at the moment. Um, so someone mentioned that we had like, uh, like a peachy tone. That I could. Oh, wait. What if I tried? No, I don't like this. See, that's too. That's too over the top. I think. Um, what if we did? Like. Hmm. Almost more of like the pinky magenta -y color here or like one of the pinker ones. But we really don't have like a lot of good pink colors in base game, though. Like they're too like. Purple. They're very like bubble gummy. And not like the good kind, um, like pre chewed bubble gum. <laughs> Um, add one more ca ha cabinet behind it. Yeah, like up here somewhere. Like, I think we're totally going to like frame this out somewhere somehow, like doing like bigger ones somehow up and down this. But we'll figure that out. Purple, pink. Uh, let's try purple. See what we got. What do you got for purple swatches here? So that's a little bit crazy, but... I do want to introduce like a different like color in here. Maybe I'll just straight up go with like a blue. And maybe I'll do like a different curtain here, like a different color of curtain, because like those are really cute. And maybe we'll do the blue. Let's see if I can find like the proper teal color. So hold on a minute, though. So instead of like this teal. What if I used the navy? Mm, doesn't have the same effect. I don't like that as much. Or even could go like this. The orange. No, I like the orange walls. That looks really good. I'm going to keep with what we got going on here. That's just too good. Wait a minute. 
Never really found the headboard that holds up for about more than a year IRL. I actually have like a really good uh, suggestion. So it's Zinus. Um, I got it on Amazon actually. So it's a Zinus headboard. I got it on Amazon. Um, and I had one for, what the heck was it? Um, like my queen size bed. And I liked it so much that I got it for our king size bed just now. Cause like a little while ago, we had our, our bed frame break. Long story short, there was like, uh, it was an Ikea one that we had like rebuilt and done or Michael had for like several years. So, um, we, uh, we decided to go with a different one after it broke. And I got the same exact one that I had for like a couple years now. So I love it. Uh, yeah, they never go exactly. They never go back together, right? Like it's tricky. A faux iron bed frame from Ikea that is like 12 years old at this point. Nice. Inverted the colors, bring the teal up front and the purple and back. So like on the curtains, you mean? So like doing... Uh, ooh, I think I might like that a little more almost. Teal, and then there was like that purple tone. A really nice queen storage bed, and I thought by uh, brought from an X and bought with an X. Um, from Ashley Furniture, now is my parents' basement taken apart, so say the money stays away from you. <laughs> you think about that bed a lot. Nice. Oh my god, I love those storage beds though. And your wife says I have no sense of style. What? Oh my god. Um, but here, let me find the link for you. But I actually really like the bed that I got from Zinus though, and it's really easy to put together. a wood platform bed and it blends like we we just bought it and i don't know here it is like a queen is on sale right now for 26 percent off and same with a king is 40 percent off right now so so you can get a king size one for cheaper right now than a queen right here hey also we how the heck are you welcome to the bean garden what's going on we yeah, had 237 dollars uh for just like the platform bed um for king size and i really like it i really do like it's awesome so much to the point where i literally bought a second one i have a queen size and a king size because like i bought mine before like my boyfriend and i moved into with each other that's what we got. I am in love with this bedroom, y'all. This is so good. Okay, I do like the idea of like swapping the colors though. What do you think? The blue instead, because it brings in more of the cool tones. It's so cute. Kind of in love, especially with like the, like that gray wood tone that we're kind of doing. Um, So I can't do this one because this is like stuff in it, but I could totally use these if we really wanted to. Get rid of those. I don't love how that looks like over those though. And I can just do that like all across the front. We could even do it like across the back if we wanted, but I also don't really like how that like cuts in as much. Hmm. So many decisions. That looks kind of cool. Ooh, like hanging lamps. Yeah, wait, that's a good one. If I could find like the right kind of sconce or something to put in there, or even like this. Maybe no windows if you have lamps and do artwork there, right? I but the the outside has like such a specific aesthetic though. 
Yeah, the windows are like pretty much set in stone. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes that really sucks when that happens because you're like, oh, I really like this idea of this layout. And we pretty much have like windows on every single wall, which sucks even more. But I think that looks really cool. Like this. It's so like earthy and like industrial feeling. So next question is, do we like the bed as like the gray blue color or like this one? Because that does look really fun with like the pink. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that one. I could even do like this if I wanted. I feel like that's probably too much though. Even for me. Trash it out, right? Trash it out. We need a circle bed. I agree. <laughs> but then the entire like color scheme kind of goes away when I pick the other pink one. Because like it's that, that gray dilapidated look that I really fell in love with. So I think maybe this will be good. Right? The orange stripes, it does match the wall. So like if I wanted to, we could choose like this color. Kind of flip it, you know? If I really wanted, just like this. That does look kind of cool. I start overthinking this much as much eventually get rid of the rug and cry. Aw. <laughs> I relate to that though. Very, very, very much. Okay, let's find like a really good fun piece. And I think this might be like a really funky cool one to put on the wall. Ooh. Right? Like, I really like where this is going. And we'll do, like, the orange frame on this. And you make a custom Benjamin stuffy and pillow. I would die. There's a, uh, I might be able to get, like, or look into, like, starting a Benjamin plushy thing. But we have to have, like, over 100 pre-orders for it. And, ah, uh, uh, for it to go into production. Want to refill my water and came back to this masterpiece? Thank you so much. Rustic and colorful. Thank you, Stevie. I really like um, the color scheme too. Like it's different and it's fresh and fun. Do you like a little bit of the pink or even do like a pop of something else. I don't know. That pink one does look really cool though. Uh, I am definitely like absolutely yes. To pretty much to the point where like I really want to get married on May 4th. Um, bad. <laughs> Ooh, this one might be a little bit like meh. It's kind of an eh, like an old, I don't know. It just doesn't look all that great in my opinion. So we'll see. I could do this one. Like that couch. Hmm. That one does look kind of cool. This one is a little bit more like on that basic side though. And that pinky purple color could be cool. Grogu delivering the ring. Oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> oh wait, um, this checks out because you mean the universe to awe. Uh, the community oh that's so nice i love it that's so good may 4th would be an awesome day i got married on october 24th the day frodo woke up in rivendell i love that that's so good very awesome especially if you're like lord of the rings fans yeah like i want to get married on may 4th national star wars day and i told my boyfriend that like um next year or the following year after that may 4th is on a friday or saturday so like you know April 12th, the perfect date. <laughs> Wait, I think that's Michael's brother's birthday. No, it's like, no, there's like a legally blonde reference or something somewhere. And I don't remember exactly what it is. It's like May 25th. Like all you know, it was May 25th or something like that, isn't it? I think it's the 25th because that's his birthday. Miss Congeniality. Because it was Michael's brother's birthday and he... 
is like, it's the perfect date. Cause you know, he was born on it, blah, 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 blah. It's April, yeah, it's April 25th, yeah. Cause our anniversary is on the 24th. And then I remember his dad's birthday or his, or his brother's birthday is like the next day. Oh no, you're good, you're good. I was like, I only know that because of that. I've never even like seen the movie before but I only know it because of Michael's brother. <laughs> like that's it. That's all I know. That's super funny though. Super cute, I love it. Good stuff. Artsy fartsy fun dresser. What do you got for me? Is it gonna be this one? This one is kind of like a little bit more of the like rustic feel. You know, I kind of don't mind it. Even if I like put it over here. April 22nd Earth Day. I like it, that's so perfect. It's a good day for a birthday. Let's put a good old plant in here. Like just a plant, slap that baby in a corner. <gasps> Ooh. Like what one? Some of these are kind of cute. Like, ooh, that one's not that bad. We could also do like a bunch of little plants if I wanted. Birthday ends up being on Mother's Day every seven years or so. Yeah, like Michael's mom's birthday is that way too. Uh, she was born like however many days. No, actually. Yeah, I think it was like, I think she's about a week before. I don't remember what day exactly, but I do know that like every so often her birthday is on Mother's Day as well. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Everyone dated someone, but uh, getting married on a day like Brew Potion Day or uh, during World Folk, Fork, Folk Tales and Fables Week could be fun as some amazing, some among some other days. Yeah, those would be really good days actually, wouldn't they? Like real good. I would love to be able to get married on, like I said, National Star Wars Day, because Michael's a really big Star Wars fan too. Memorial Day a lot, May 26th, nice. Like quite often you're on Memorial Day. That's pretty nice though. It's a good time to have like little parties and stuff if that's your thing, you know? Very understandable. Oh, Christmas Eve in 2019. We both love Christmas. That's so cute, Mimo. I love that. That's perfect. Like I said, especially if you are someone who like loves that time of year as well. Like that's so good. I do like a floor mirror right here. I think this looks cute. Ooh. What if we even did like that color? That other color, the darker color is better. My boyfriend is August 31st, so um, if his birthday is on the weekend, he gets Labor Day. Nice. Michael's is on um February 8th. I don't think there's any significant anything significant like super close to his birthday, except for like Valentine's Day, but his birthday will never be on Valentine's Day. Um, hi Amy, welcome on it. I'm so glad to see you today. What's happening? I hope you're having a good one. We are doing some of the last rooms in the Spencer Kim Lewis house. And I'm in love with this. I think their bedroom is so cute. What should I do like over here? Should I have like some more plants and stuff? I did like maybe like a little fern or something up here and maybe like a lamp, some books. Maybe I'll find like a funky little lamp to do. What should we do? <gasps> the candles. So, so. <gasps> the candles. I've never used these before, but those are so cute. So funky. Look at those. Hi, Lily Pad. Welcome on in. It's a really cute bed. Thank you. I'm really glad you like it. That's so nice of you. Oh, you wear yourself. Amy, oh no, and I hate that I just got done cleaning my keyboard and now eating some lunch before jumping into Sims. Aw, I hope you got the rest that you needed though. You know, sometimes your body just decides what it needs. I totally get it though. I'm still waiting to get engaged. It'll happen when it happens, but like we own a house and stuff together and things will just come together in the way that they're meant to, but I want it now, dang it. Gosh darn it. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, Some of the like little like clay figure thingies I think would be really interesting. Like this one. Oh, what the heck? 
I don't know why it like randomly spawns into other things. That's so weird. Okay, I'll take it though. That's so weird. I do like that, like the way that that looks though. Uh, your dual partner with a lightsaber and the winner proposes to the loser. Nice. <laughs> you know, I am more like agile and Michael's like fast, like surprisingly fast, given like how tall and how large he is. But like, I'm I, my endurance is way better. <laughs> I do know that. Why is it so creepy? Oh my god, I don't like this one bit. Like, it keeps changing into weird things, and I hate this. Oh my god. I do kind of like this, though, like the little Day of the Dead figure. That's kind of cool. What else could I put in this bedroom? On the hunt is like a little statuette. Just some fun little knickknacks to put in here. Mercy does not win wars. Master Kenobi. I love it. Um, that's how I feel about work. I want to find something and feel normal again. Right. Oh, it took you to my ring size a couple weeks ago. LD. Oh, that's awesome. I talked to Michael about doing like a ring size thing. I asked him like, would it make you feel better if we like went ring shopping together and like you got my size and stuff and then like what will be will be at that point. And he agreed. So that's like a thing. Apparently, he really had me thinking that he was going to propose around like Christmas, though. Like, I was pretty convinced that he was going to like propose before the new year. If I'm going to be honest, I was like really surprised. It was like, what happened happened. Like, I'm not upset about it by any means, but I was like, oh, OK, because <laughs> he was really messing with me quite a bit. It was kind of surprising. Maybe I'll have them do like, ooh. Let's do not inspiring power consumption rating for confident decor, inspiring romantic environment. Ooh. Cute little plum bob lamp, because why not? What gem are you going to go for? Probably moissanite, honestly. I don't really like diamonds. I like the sparkliness, but I don't like the way that diamonds are like handled, if that makes sense. Right, Mimo? He's just throwing me off. I bet you. I hope. We'll see. He's clever, but like, and sneaky, but I don't know if he's going to be about something like this necessarily. Shoot, I have 6,000 simoleons left for this bedroom or for this house. Oh, no. Do I give them a little more money, like 10,000 simoleons to work with? Because we do that for all of the Sims and we haven't done that for them. I'm like attached to this house. Ah! Um, I think mine is gonna propose around my birthday. I'm graduating grad school the week before I turn 30 and he's back about doing a road trip, though I don't know if that is still happening. We have to move me home. Aw, right? I really hope he catches you off guard too, though. That's really exciting. I'm gonna give them like a little bit more money. Here we go. We always give ourselves like 10,000 simoleons, right? Exactly. Make it something we like. Moissanite rings are less likely to be damaged uh, than diamonds and are sparklier than diamond. Diamonds are so overrated. They are. Um, There's like this whole thing behind like diamonds. Like one company basically controls how much like enters the market, you know, and like so the prices are always like really high and like there's this whole marketing thing behind it. But it's interesting. And also I don't like the way that they like farm diamonds and stuff or like mine for diamonds and it's really it's really uh what do I want to say um exploitative so I I don't know but yeah a sapphire ring ooh LD that would be awesome sapphire is really pretty engager is an am amethyst ooh that's exciting though I really like that. Also, I've never seen this tub before. It's called Space Bucket. Oh, you had to custom design the most beautiful ring an eighth of the cost of a diamond ring. And I'm so happy. Ooh, OK, that sounds amazing, though. That's awesome. I'm really glad that you had that opportunity. 
Also, I've never done a tub sticking out like this. And I wonder what I could do for this space bucket. I know, like I've never seen that before or I've heard of this. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do what we do best and we use platforms in this house, all right? Like we got platforms. Ah, look at how cool that is. I really like that. Um, and then I could easily, easily, easily do like, let's do like two sinks, maybe. And we could do like a really fun, funky color. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I think that looks kind of neat. Um, how did you design it? Yeah, right. Like I have such a specific I like like the vintage style rings is what I would do. Emily. Hi, by the way, I'm so glad to see you. We're working on the Spencer Kim Lewis household and I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for coming on by. Oh my god, Hades, you just bit into my apple and it's mushy. Oh my god, that's the worst. When you get like a really mealy apple. But Ugh. R.I.P. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, what should I do? Ooh, these ones are always kind of so, fun. So. Plus they have like that cool birchy look to it. Hey, Stevie Bug, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. I'm so glad to meet you. What's happening? I'm gonna go with some plumbing. We're gonna choose a toilet. And I think I like this one. And I think they have like a good color. That one looks kind of cool. Ooh, what do y'all think about this bathroom? Honestly, though, like I've never seen this before. This is Epicure and then Space Bucket. What's the difference? Like straight up, what is the difference between these tubs? Space Bucket? Oh. <gasps> Pitta, thank you for the 18 months. How are you doing today? I'm really glad to see ya. Hello, how is everyone doing? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the for the sub. Welcome on back to the Beanie Weenie Club. 18 months. That's really cool. That's like one and a half years now, isn't it? Welcome on back. Look at your new badge too. That's so fun. I'm doing good. We are chipping away at our renovation of the um Ooh, the green. That's so fun. Um of the Spencer Kim Lewis household. So we're hanging in there. That mirror sink combo, I know it's so cool. I like it. Thank you so much too. I'm glad you like it. Should I like corner these? We're like centered as cool. I kind of like them just like gently this way. Like they look so neat and like I've never used anything like this before. Um, so let me see if I can find like some other good colors that we could use. There's like this weird like greeny blue color, but I think that we might go with like the black. Let me actually try to steal like this floor pattern because I really kind of like this and I think that looks really cool and really chic. However, we do like the green out here. So do I really want like green in the bathroom again? That's kind of the question that I'm kind of asking myself right now, but they do have this like weird, like beigey color, that blue. And this comes with it too. And that, ooh, that's really clean looking. I really like that. That's really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to do like some kind of like an exposed brick in here, like the painted one maybe. I think they had one that is like base game like this one. Maybe this might be cool. Center, right? Yeah, it kind of depends. <sighs> I'm like how we want to do this though. Hmm. Um, if you're not confident in your drawing skills, you can meet with a custom designer and tell them your ideas and they can mock up based on what you tell them. Nice. You're like, and I have like a ton of examples of stuff that I would like in my own, like for my own ring and stuff. Like, I know like a specific style that I, I want. And honestly, I think that was like a little intimidating for Michael, <laughs> which is understandable. 
since I have like something so like specific in mind. Hey, Wild Wolf, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks so much for coming on by. Okay, that is cute. Like, I'm kind of in love with this. What if I did like this off white color like that almost? Ooh, that's warm. And then like for the, oh shoot, why did that get deleted? It's so weird. I'm just gonna get rid of it, it's fine. Um, I really like these color combos that we've chosen. Let's try to do this on the bottom because it's like the same. Ooh, that's kind of different. I kind of like that. That's weird. I also have the idea of maybe putting this tub like in this corner instead. Kind of interesting. And then we could do like, instead of having this be like wide open, I could do something like this. And then maybe even like open this up. Oops, hello. That is not what I wanted to have. Right here. Ooh, beautiful. Or like alternated maybe? There are so many different like little options and stuff for here. And I just don't know what the right one to be or what the right one would be. Maybe that, I don't know. Cause I think I really like this wall being like the brick on the back. Uh, do you big one do you use like how I like how you build? I build with walls up too. It helps me see exactly right, Stevie. Yes, I play with the walls up too. I'm like one of those people. Stop, why does it like keep doing that? There we go. Yeah, I'm one of those people that plays with the walls up. The brick around the bathtub. Do you really? Huh. I feel like the blue is just kind of nice. In there. And then like you got like your little brick situation right there. Like on that wall. Oh, so many decisions. Let's try this. And maybe that and this and then we're going to do. We're going to try a spandrel like we have not used any spandrels in this house. And I think it's time. Or not, because that does not work like none of these work. That makes me so sad. Play with walls cutaway because what I do is play the tallest half walls um, I, I can for some of how I decorate. Um, and I might want the wall to persist. Oh, that's interesting. So like, instead of like full walls, you use like half walls and stuff. That's so cool though. The wall decor in your builds really Madison. Oh my God. And then it's like, I hope that you don't use any of my builds because I use pillars like they're going on a style and they're so bad sometimes. Like so many pillars is actually probably appalling. To some of you guys, like, as you can see, this one room has like, Five pillars, probably. That's crazy. So someone said that they liked this up here. Or like this, this way instead. Hmm. Love watching builds. It looks gorgeous. Thank you so much. Right? Like exactly. <laughs> like if you if you tried to use my build, you would definitely delete a lot of stuff. And honestly, you're not like the only one. <laughs> it is what it is. That's so funny. So we got the brick up there on the on the side. Y'all. I don't know. I love the color combos, but there's something missing. And I don't know what I want to do yet. So, so don't know what it is. Hi, Daisy. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Thank you so much for coming on by. 
Y'all are new here. My name's Zephyr, and my pronouns are she, her, and I am glad to have you. I'm gonna make this into like a little like cute platform area is what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be like up above this and like probably put plants and stuff up there and maybe like soap or something. A stool, yeah, like a little stool would be really cute. I don't know if we've got like a really good stool in base game though. They have like a bar stool. But I just don't think that we have anything similar to that. Hi, Freely, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good time. No worries, I will also be live tomorrow too. I think like just about the only thing that I can think of doing in here is like adding a stool potentially, but I also don't want like an audience when we poop, you know? Like Sims for some reason just decide that like, there's a chair here. I'm gonna go eat my potatoes on this chair and it's gonna be like a thing. So maybe make this like a little bit more private and do like these instead almost. Oh, butt cheeks. It's a little bit better, I think, right? Yes, yeah, Sims would so like sit there all the time and it would be so infuriating. It'd be bad. <laughs> um, Just for like better balance with this brick, I'm gonna go ahead and use this in there because like it's like the same, but it's like a different color. Like it's like lighter looking, you know, it's, like slightly different scale as well. So it's like so close. Um, Front row seat, right? Like literally a front row seat. <laughs> Very relatable. Okay, I love this bathroom though, but now I have this question since we've like done this, I wonder if this would even be better. Like right over here and then turn this this way. <clears throat> Maybe or something or even do like this or that. I guess that one still does look better. Just like the flow of the bathroom looks nicer. And I'm gonna do Because this is like honestly such a huge bathroom, so it's really weird. I'm gonna try to do this and then do like that color since we got that going on, or I could even do that in here if we wanted. So questions. So like we have our tub, right? And this is gonna be really annoying. Um, what if I did this? And it's like a shower, especially if we have like the right kind of shower. And I think this one might be the one. Kind of, sort of, I don't know. Not really. So that way we still have like the, like both of them. And it might be kind of like a nice little like bridge between the two because this one's like the most expensive one this one this one okay this one is totally the set right there like i've never used the shower ever in my life <gasps> that's a really cool swatch and it goes with that not me second guessing all the swatches that we've used so far I like that one. I know, right? Like, I like this idea too. And it's like a nice bridge between the two too. Come on, can't be any shorter. You're not my mom. I'm gonna put this where I want this to go because I make the rules. So this is gonna be like for towels. I'm gonna totally put like some little towels back here. Um, Like in this little corner. Cause they have like a, a cute little like folded stack of towels. That's really nice. So I don't think it's here. I think it might be under miscellaneous. Aha, here it is. Like there. Look at how fun that is. And then we'll do like, maybe two tones or something. If I can find the right ones. Eh, maybe just white. 
spa vibes exactly yeah i like that i think it's cute all right so we have like our little shower nook in here maybe i'll even put like plants up there because i think some plants would be absolutely perfect um like maybe slightly taller like tulips or something too because those are cute because why not that's nice we gotta get some little pieces of greenery in here i think and then i'll put like um it's under miscellaneous and then we can put like this right there and then i will also put um like towels right here Maybe not that one. Oh, the navy. The navy one looks really good. I really like that. Okay, we're totally doing this. And then over here, I'm gonna do like the fake laundry hamper because like I hate real laundry and plus this is like base game anyway. So I don't have laundry anyhow. So I think she's looking pretty good personally. Ooh, this is a nice bathroom. Like I'm kind of obsessed with this. We got some decor. It's really nice. It's different. And uh, the earthy, artsy vibes going on. It's like their bedroom is like a color explosion. And then we've got like all these really serene blues and like grays and stuff in here. You know, balance. Am I right? I almost wonder. No, because that has like the weird red color in it. And then the black is like way too dark, I think. Is that black too dark or does that look cool? So, so. It's really hard for me to know. Hi, Praise, how the heck are you? Yeah, Praise, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. So glad to have you. Um, what if I did like a sconce thing up here? And I'll, yeah, like a, like a bathroom light, almost like above the sink thing. I don't do that very often, but I feel like this is going to be a good spot for that. This bath? Thanks. I'm so glad you like it. Bathrooms are probably one of my favorite spaces to make. And instead of this being here, maybe I'll hang that right there. I think that looks really nice. Boom, because it's above like the hamper. You know, you take off your clothes, put them in the hamper, and then you put on your robe. There. All right. So we have one bathroom and like a little office for Alice to go. And then we're freaking done. And I'm beyond excited right now because like I never thought this day would come. I want to pick like fun, different colors for these, though. Wait, this is an office. And then this is going to be Olivia's bathroom. We've decided. Hmm. I almost want to like bust this open just so I can put Olivia's bathtub over here. Or like her shower tub combo or whatever the heck I'm going to do. So our shower tub combos in The Sims 4 are a terrible, terrible, terrible mix. Like they're awful. I think they look really bad. However, this color is really fun. Do I like no i'm not gonna match okay i thought about it but it gives like a very different vibe when you do that in my opinion or maybe we can go like lots of fun different colors or something for olivia right like i could go full matching for olivia's bathroom like this is gonna be a child's bathroom and this is her bedroom but also would mom and dad want it to be like more normal right i don't want a toilet in my office right <laughs> Honest question, though. Real talk. Um, and then they have, like, the sink, which is this one. Like, I feel like mom and dad would have a different vibe going, though. Like, I don't think this would be it. Um, maybe. I don't know. Um, just because the rest of their house is like so clean and chic and then this would be like, oh my god, uh, Rainbow Central. I don't know. It's 
hard to say what I would what I should do. Uh, this is super modern looking and I've literally never like used this shower before. I'm pretty sure. I almost did a second ago, but I just don't think it's it. Maybe. Listen, it's hard to say. This one does come with that green color, though. Like, especially if I wanted everything to be like matching. Uh, look at the, the freaking avocado green color. Look at how gross that is. It's like so bright. Disgusting. So this one isn't that bad. It comes with like some really good ones, but it's honestly, it's 375 simoleons and it like isn't that great of a shower. This one is like the standing version of it or like of the, the shower tub combo. So like this one might work out for us, I think. Ooh, that's weird. Where like the floor changes colors a little bit. Um, I'm so lost. Help. Maybe I go for like the ultra modern looking one again that we had before. Or do we lean into like Olivia's ridiculousness? That's kind of the question that I have. Or do I just give her a tub? 12,000 millions? No, never mind. I don't want to go bankrupt over a tub. I'm sorry. Listen, that's not my favorite thing. Space bucket does come with some fun colors. When in doubt, add a penguin TV. Honestly, though, yeah. Penguin TVs are it. <laughs> It's a black tub. That's really cool. But also, it's Olivia's bathroom, and I feel like I don't want to stifle her. Hmm. Taking bets on, like, what kind of vibe I should go for. Like, do I want it to be kind of like the rest of the house? Kind of, like, more neutral? Or do I want it to be, like, stylized for Olivia? Because this one's kind of like the public bathroom in the house, though. Too, you know? Like, it's not really her bathroom. It's just the one that she'll, like, primarily use. So that's kind of the question that I'm kind of having in my head right now. Hmm. I don't know. Uh... I don't think... Do I have... Ooh. I wonder... Uh, exactly. Right. Exactly, Daisy. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. It's like, wouldn't go full out on her. Um, the rest of the house would have, like, bright accents or, like, this fun, like, this is kind of what I'm imagining here, right? Like this. It's like, oh, that's not bright enough. There's this one that definitely is meant to go with this. Like, how cool is that looking? Almost like that, like, super industrial feel. Because I could do, like, those cool browns, like that. Uh, right, like, the rest of the house, because it's not hers. Yeah. Or something that would be, like, in light of that. You know, not necessarily, like, identical to the rest of the house. But styled like it, at least. I don't think that they have a, to a like a toilet with like copper stuff. Oh, that would be so interesting if we had like a copper toilet, wouldn't it? They have like this weird blue. And honestly, like the black toilets are pretty neat looking, but I just don't. Oh, they do. <gasps> oh. Oh, I guess we kind of do. I've never used this toilet before. Like, I always look past it for some reason. It's the raw toilet. So, like, there's, like, this whole raw, like, stuff. Like, this set that you can use. Um, right? Like, the, the right? Isn't it so fun? I wish this were, like, darker, though. Like, not quite black. But I wish that it were, like, stark white. Almost like a cream or something or like gray. Um, I 
Ooh, that warm brown is really fun. Um, make us know she has things that look like hers, like toothbrushes, toys on a shelf, kiddish painting. Yeah, right. Hades, like it's like the, the core of the bathroom is like theirs. But then um, it's like definitely Olivia. So this is a trick that you can do to like get your shower to look like it's like different and built in and stuff. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to steal and see if I can do like a gray or something like that even. Or, ooh, wait a minute. What if we did like this? Kind of like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Think of how fun that would be. By the way, everyone, um, I'm going to play some ads really quick. I'm probably going to do like three minutes of ads. That way we don't have to even think about ads for like an hour and a half and they're just out of the way. So I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging. I'm going to pause so you don't miss a thing. Um, right though, I really like how rustic this looks. But I do want like a really fun accent color in here. I'm almost thinking of doing like a nice olive green tone kind of thing. Because it'll really be cool that, um, like with everything going on with the, uh, like stone bits and stuff. Or the copper, the orange from the copper. That would be so interesting. I love that. Um, just kind of while we're like searching here, I don't think we have like a copper mirror, do we? Or even like that orangey tone. Um, like I know we have like some really old fashioned looking mirrors, but I just don't think that we have like that look. But we do have like this really cool industrial looking one. I think that one's going to be the one that I'm going to end up using, though. Mm, it's going to be so good. I really like what we're doing with this, especially with like that, that cool shower area, though. It looks really, really, really neat. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I hope everyone's having a really good day, though. Today is amazing, and I'm so excited. Especially since we're, like, almost finished with this house, too. This is amazing. Hi, Tank! How are you? Oh, my God, we're doing good. As soon as we're done with ads, I've got, like, about a minute left. Um, I want to show you what we did with Alice's room. And I want to show you what we did with Aunt. A few chaos biddies. Happy simming, mother fluffers. Oh, Leah. Thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Happy simming, everybody. It's a good Thursday. But I want to show you what we did with, like, her bedroom. And, like, we changed some swatches up in, like, the, the living room. And we finished up, like, almost this entire floor now. Like, I'm finishing up the, the last couple bedrooms. I'm in love with it. Aaliyah, thank you for the 100 videos. That's so nice of you. Amazing. <laughs> we love some good chaos biddies, don't we? Good stuff. And we're back from ads. All right. So giving you like a quick overview of what we did, we decided to change this area into like this really funky green color. And it's I so can't cool. often catch oh your God. streams, so I got to shower you with love whenever I can. I really, really do appreciate that, though. Thank you so much for choosing to hang out here. And thank you for cheering biddies, especially. That's so nice. Thank you so much. Um, Some not good things are happening in the house. Lots of fighting between my parents. Aw, I'm so sorry, Sierra. I hope things get better soon. So, so, so sorry about that, though. Hope I really hope it um 
things go well, like as well as they possibly can for you and your family. Good to see you though, Sierra. Happy Thursday, my friend. We finished up like a little coffee nook area over here. Love this. Bye, Justin. See you soon. Thank you so much for coming and hanging. So, so. Um, we did like a cute little entryway with like lots of plants and then I might do some like outdoor furniture or something out here. Um, we did this entryway and I did this cool like blue and orange. And then this is Olivia's bedroom. I think this is probably like my favorite children's bedroom that I've ever done. It is so stinking cute, especially with, like the, the little like all the colors. Like I'm obsessed with this. And then over here we're doing we were just working on the bedroom here. Oh, and then we did mom and dad's bedroom. Lots of funky colors. I know the platform, isn't it so good? I'm obsessed. And then they have their own like bedroom there or bathroom, like an ensuite. And then, um, yeah, I really like this orange color though. However, I do think that I do wanna use like this flooring in here though. I think this is gonna be a good one for this bathroom. Like, this is really, really kind of nice. I'm gonna go over here, actually, and steal this. And then I don't know what kind of colors I wanna choose for in here. Like for my little accents and stuff. <gasps> Ooh, I never use these. This is a good one. I never use these. This is This is gonna be so cute. Like, I wonder what color I should use because they don't really go together, but like they're supposed to, but they like just didn't add the swatches to this. Honestly, maybe like the basic one. Ah, I'm, I'm kind of upset about it. See, like they didn't really add everything. So maybe I won't use it because like it just doesn't go with all the stuff. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, well, it is what it is. It's okay. We'll manage, I think. But however, this does look pretty cool, though. And this one does look awesome. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool. Oh, I've been watching Dragon Ball Z as a comfort show lately. I love Dragon Ball Z. Really? Like, what? Um, How far along are you watching right now? Like, what are you like? Where are you at? I've seen like all of the episodes like over and over and over again. I honestly love that you're watching that though. I hope things get better for you soon. The wall shuffle, the towels. I don't remember the swatches though. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they have like more pastels though. I know exactly what one you're talking about. They're like all the, the funky pastels from like your seventies like thing. Aw, Tay, oh my God, spine surgery on the 27th. I'm going to be laid up for a so, while. So. Oh my gosh, I'm a full-time content creator. So like I stream a lot. So welcome on by. Thank you for coming on in. I usually like Thursdays are an early day for me. Same with Sundays, but like uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I stream at 5 p.m. Central. So I stream later um so i'd be starting about for reference it's like 4 37 for me but i hope your surgery goes well and it's really good to meet you thanks for that follow but just so you can kind of have like a feel of when i stream and stuff bardock goku's dad is my current character obsession Ooh, bardock right oh the cell saga oh i, th I think i'm watching super too nice um super is kind of like in a are you familiar sorry are you familiar with like dragon ball z at all before I like go, I like love Dragon Ball Z so much. Um, if you see my Dragon Balls right over there on my shelf in front of Dave. <laughs> but uh, yes, Super is kind of like a almost like an abridged version of it. It's going well. I'll oh, disable for seven months and the surgery is the fix. Oh my god, I really hope it goes well for you though. That's incredible news yes your kids and i have seen every episode of dragon ball z i love that i started off with like watching dragon ball when i was really young and uh, like honestly 
Um, Dragon Ball is so much fun. If you have the chance to watch Dragon Ball, please do. Hi, Grappy. Welcome on by. I'm so glad to see you today. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I love that little splash of purple. That's really cute. Like this bathroom is so cute. I'm kind of into this. Oh my God. Uh, 13, so about eight years now. I've seen all the movies too. Nice. Nice. I love that. Hi. I haven't watched in a while though. Got it. Okay. I see. Yeah, like uh, Super is, it Super takes out like a lot of the like filler episodes and stuff. And Super is actually one that I haven't seen. So I've seen like all the original episodes, I suppose I should say. Ooh, wait, what if we won like those? I do like the white, I think, though. That does look kind of nice. Job application due soon, so stressed. Aw, oh, just ch sitting here for a while and then I'll get back to it. Aw, I hope it goes well, though. Good luck to you. I hope you get some good news regarding a job real soon. I know that's big, crazy stuff. My sister recently revealed a crushed on Vegeta as a, uh, as a kid. I'm saying, oh, wait, when is I don't remember you like DBC. <laughs> yeah, Vegeta, oh my God. Vegeta is like the angsty king. That's really funny, though. <laughs> By the games and Team Four Star Dragon Ball Z abridged. Oh, my God. Team Four Star, like the Dragon Ball Z abridged stuff is hysterical. It's really funny. I like that. I remember like watching those episodes over and over and over. Like I was in like high school or something like that. And Emo Gossa, I couldn't see him coming. Really? <gasps> right. I know. I feel like it's kind of like, uh, almost like a rite of passage, you know? Like, you gotta. It comes with the territory. Yes. Oh, wait, here. I think we have this. Here we go. This is it. This is what I like. Uh, a British series is just something else. They really are, though. Ain't that the stinking truth? Do we have like a big art, like easel display thing? Canvas, maybe I'll type in canvas. I think it came with base game. Yes, okay. <gasps> we do have it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna wedge this like in this corner. Piccolo to green dad. Piccolo and Gohan are like my two favorite, like their whole dynamic is just so fun. Um, so remember when I played Fortnite on stream? That was like the only reason why I played is because they had like the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Um, <laughs> I have not, honestly, like I got all the things from uh, like in Fortnite regarding it and then I haven't touched it since. Because I uh, just wanted to have those. <laughs> that's it. Like that, that's, that's all I got. That's really funny, though. Uh, Trunks and Gohan are my favorites. Yes, yes, I love them. Trunks and Gohan. Like, Cell Saga era, like, was so, so much fun. Molly, hi, welcome on in. Yes, I played, I played, like, the Xenoverse games, too. Mm-hmm. But I mostly also like watched my brother, my middle brother play them too. That is so funny. Hi, Molly, welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you a lot for stopping by. We are um, finishing up, like doing some of the finishing touches in some of these rooms. And they are coming along really, really nicely, I gotta say. Like, I love what we've got going on. Still have friends I made on those games? Really? Oh my God, that's so crazy. I don't think I ever really did stuff that was like really socially oriented on those, which is kind of surprising because I usually game for like the social aspect too. Or I'm drawn to games because of the social aspect, but I do get it. Should I do like a book? Ooh, wait, yeah, there's like a book that I can put on this little thing. Cause we really don't have like a lot of art clutter in here though. I will put these on the floor though. Hi, Apple, I'm doing really good. Thanks so much for coming on in. I hope you're having a good one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are finishing up the Spencer Kim Lewis household. 
and I'm honestly kind of obsessed like with the way this is coming out painter side tables under statues oh the painter side table is it really under statues so it's like probably way towards the bottom Ooh, okay yep nope that is exactly what I want right there this is what I need this is it. Hi, Gabby. I'm feeling a lot better today. Thank you for asking. Still pretty crampy and stuff, but not nearly as bad as yesterday. Use it all the time. I don't think I've, I think I've maybe used this like once or something. So thank you for reminding me that it is like here, <laughs> like that it exists. We got like our little easels all tucked in. I really like this. Cramps are the worst. They are so bad. I hate them. So terrible. All right. I think this is good for her art room. It's like her office. And then uh, all of this is good. So we decided, okay, I have like 1,000 simoleons left. I don't have any like gym equipment at all. And I don't think, do we have anyone who's like fit? What is Eric's traits? Okay, glutton, materialistic, self-assured. Creative, loves outdoors, childish. Goofball. Vivian is family-oriented, cheerful, and a foodie. And a perfectionist, neat, and loves the outdoors. House is looking so good. Thank you! Hmm... Wait a minute, did I? Oop, I thought I accidentally did something in here, but I think this is good. So I don't think there's anything else. We Like I said, we wanted to add exercise equipment, but we don't have any money. Gem clutter from the clutter kit. Aw, I'm only using base game. Aw, that would be so nice though, if I could add some clutter kit things, but this is base game only. So good, that's looking awesome. I don't think there's any corner of the house that we missed. Or that I have to go back to. Yep. Oh no, you're totally okay. You're good. Um, honestly, like with how versatile base game is these days, though. Like I feel like it's really, really hard to remember that it's that that is base game. <laughs> That's understandable. Uh baseball, bat clutter thing, base game, it is. But I feel like at this point it might be like out of place without like other exercise equipment. That's all right though. Making sure that all of my walls are all like fixed and stuff and all my windows are not glitching on me. I think this is good. Oh my God. Did we finally finish this stinky, stinky, stinky house? This is ridiculous, y'all. Like, I can't, this was, I'm gonna do like a starter home next. Listen, like we did this like 167, whatever thousand billion jajillion dollar house. And now I'm ready for something small because this was probably like almost as big as like Vlad's house. And then we did, oh my God. Right, like I hate, I hate that the windows glitch too. I wonder if, yeah, I, I should probably play test now. Shouldn't I? I'm gonna have him go poop. All right, Dennis, you're my man. Debug baby, right? Just need a debug baby to slap somewhere. <laughs> I kind of like his little fountains though. Those are kind of cool. So he's doing that. Can you take a shower? You can use the sink. All right, he can totally do all that. He can sleep. All right, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to like use everything in there because that looks all good. Um, I'm gonna have him go tend bar or something. All right, he can use it. So we're doing fine. Uh, what else? Maybe trying to like cook something? All of them try to make like a grilled cheese or something. Wait, no, something that he has to ha use like the stove for. So I'll have him use or make like a chocolate cake or something. And we back. What? Hi, Janizi. Welcome on back. How you doing? 
Nature girl, I hope that you have a good time at dinner. Good to see ya. I know, Graham's room is so cool looking, isn't it? What? Should I delete that? I think that's gonna get really annoying for you guys who are like gonna use this house. Oh my God. I mean, well, that's one way to do it, isn't it? I think I'm gonna get rid of this because that's annoying. And I don't want that. So I'm just gonna do this and stuff that in that corner and call it a day. I know those were some questionable decisions, weren't they? Please use this, the kitchen sink. Okay, he's using the... Oh my God, that's fine. Right, just put clutter on top and then he can't use it. Well, I need to make sure that he can actually use this, like these countertops in here. I'm gonna have him try like the chocolate cake again. All right, he can use the sink, but he should in theory be able to use these. Oh, do you like it? What are you doing? Where are you gonna find the next countertop, sir? Hello? <laughs> oh my god, if he goes here, I swear. Where are you going? Are you going to... <laughs> He's on a mission. Vivian, wake up, we need to cook. <laughs> I don't know why that counter. I know I seriously wish that we could set like a default countertop too. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Okay. done so many questions <laughs> i don't think yeah any of the countertops downstairs are usable but like what is going on <laughs> he's getting those steps in at least we can use the oven i mean there's that oh my god dennis is a man on a mission he works out his cake while making his cake <laughs> Oh my god. At least we gotta work out right for real. Alright, we have cake. Um, good to know. Um, no routing issue in the Sims. Nope, definitely not. Nope, definitely no problems in this house at all. Oh my god. Apparently we can't use these. I thought that we could. Um He did. He you he went upstairs to prep it on the counter upstairs. And, and then he like, oh my God, I'm so like annoyed with this right now. Um, so he went up, he like, he pulled it out of the fridge down here on the first floor. And then he ran upstairs to prep it on the counter in the way third floor kitchen. And then he ran all the way back downstairs to use the oven. Uh, place the cake there, but can't make, mix it there. Yeah, I know. That's so weird, Amy. I don't get it. Hi, Kaz. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. Seriously, Brunette, like who needs workout equipment when Dennis can do this? Just move the cabinets uh, covering the two counters at the side of the sink, right? Like I'm thinking about doing this because like they should be able to do that. Like I'm also thinking about doing like end counters. No, they clip outside though. No, like the cabinet. A few, a moments, few later. moments later. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much for the 300 biddies, Janese. That's so nice of you. That was one of the worst Sims routing issues I think I've ever encountered. Uh, the back of the bar counter, nor the front part of the, with the overhang, right? Hi, Lou. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you today. 
this is like perfect and centered and stuff. I wonder, oh my God, I'm so sad. How does this look, y'all? Does this look better? I think this looks good. Wait, and then I might be able to like do this instead of those like clipping like that, I am gonna do these up there. I think that looks a lot better. Um, okay, so like we have this, I think this looks fine. Um, let's try, okay, Dennis, let's try this again. Very cute, thanks, Jinxie. Yes, Kaz, I'd love to. Hold on a sec, though. Okay, crisis averted. We don't have to use both of the kitchens anymore. We can just use this kitchen. Woo! Oh, my God. Woo! We did it! See, this is why we play test, because I didn't want to put you guys through that. Um, And try to have you guys, like, you know, have your sim decide to run into the whatever, the third floor. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Empty oven. I'm just going to have them empty it. Um, all right. So y'all today we are, we also have sticker Palooza. So Kaz, do we also have, I think we have one of the toilet stickers or did we do those already? I think we might've already done those. Um, so, so Mia, Hey, how the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. So usually we give away stickers once every 10 subs, but this week, National Sticker Day is today, I think, actually. So all this week, we're doing once every five subs instead, up through Sunday. So we have some additional little bonus stickers. I don't know where they went. I, like, cleaned up my desk, and I, like, moved things to stupid spots. Um, But I have some really fun ones. Uh, oh, next. OK, next toilet. Got it. OK, so I have this emote and this emote that are available in um, little stickers to you guys right now. Yes, toilet sticker. Yep. Yep. The toilet sticker is um, once every 25 subs. So that one's like a special one that you get in addition to the other ones, too. So that one's like incremental. Um, it's holographic. I don't know where like my little things went because I cleaned up my office. Um, they're around. I know that though. But they look like this. But it's holographic. Um, so yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> so, um, you get to pick between like your stickers and stuff. So like you'll get these three or I can just send you like random ones basically on your form. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and let you guys draw for stickers. So these are not for the ones with like the toilet. These are just like the heart and then like the little poop head and then the winter one. So those are the three that you'll get. Uh, if you pick that option, if you pick the random option, then you'll um, then you will get a bunch of random stickers that I sent you. Cleaning always seems to make things disappear, right? It does, BC, that's so right. Um, but yeah, if you want to enter for a sticker, go ahead and type sticky, S-T-I-C-K-Y, in chat. So uh, good luck to everybody. We got two of these to give away. So basically, as you see, it says 160 at 165, 170, et cetera, will trigger these, like, giveaways um, instead of, like, every 10 extra stickers this week. So, if y'all, um, if it draws your name, you'll need to whisper Kaz. So let's go ahead. Jinxie! Jinxie's creations. Go ahead and send a message to Kaz. Because he will uh, respond, so ha say hello to him right here on Twitch on like in a DM and he'll respond with like a message for you. So, um, yeah, we have one more after this to give away too. So thank you to you guys. Here I am. Here I am. 
How exciting. Yeah, drop him a whisper. So I'm going to go ahead and um, draw another one. So we have Paige. Paige, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. Yeah, yep. It's like it's a bot that just does everything. This is how I do like the, um, what's it called? The uh, uh, thingy. Um, like the shell tours and stuff too. Yay! Go ahead, Paige. Drop a whisper to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. Yep, it, it does. It removes the ones that automatically win. It's awesome. Yay! Yes, I am, Riot. We just finished this house and now we're play testing. Um, things are kind of neat. They're coming up. They're going out really well right now. Like, I really like this. Can have them go watch TV and check it out. Aw, you're exhausted. I'm so sorry. I hope you get some good rest. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Oh, ah, glory. Hello. So he can sit. I'm going to have him watch TV. <laughs> Apparently, Dennis is deciding that he's not going to watch TV. Yes, yeah, you, yes, we just did the stickers. Um, I'm going to have him go swim. Sign, sealed, and sent. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Kaz. Thanks for helping, or helping out. Which house are we running me next? Um, I'm not sure. I think I wanted to be small, though. Like, I really wanted to be small. Because this is terrible. And it makes me sad. And it's really big. I think that the last two builds that we've done have been really, really large. So I'll probably do something, like, pretty simple. All right, so this still works. I'm going to have him go sit. Or, like, get out of the pool. Oh, my God, right. It would be so much nicer because we did, like, Judith Ward's house. What else did we do? We've done so many different things. Um, Like, it's a lot. So what else do I need to play test? Because this should be functional. I'm going to go play test this, like, Vivian's bed. Yes. Yep, the Caliente house is up in the gallery. That one's also base game, too. That one was a lot of fun to do. Um, yeah, it's on my gallery if you want to download it, Amy. Uh, the high school is also on the gallery. You know, I really... No, this one's not up yet. We're still playtesting it to make sure we don't have to, like, move things around. Um, I really... God, I hate how large these EA builds are. And I worry that the high school is going to be too much for so many of your guys' computers and stuff. Let's go use. Let's go take a shower. You can officially use this. Did you say files of the whole world's renovated? Yeah, yep. That's kind of what we're chipping away at. We still have like, we have maybe like 10 builds done or something, but it's a lot. There's a lot going on. Um, So we really haven't made that much progress yet, but still quite a bit in the grand scheme of things too. All right, so like, I'm gonna make sure you can go take a shower upstairs. Dennis is just my playtesting like guy. Yeah, Eve, I can totally do like a, a tour once we're done playtesting here. Hello, Alice. Okay, so she can still like go out there, we're good. I just forgot that I have free will turned off. Um, I'm gonna make sure that she can go sleep out here, like in her bed. I think she can. So it's like routing her to it. So I think she's all good. You can poop. All right, you're good. Um, I don't think Sims can use this. Oh, can they really? I wonder how it's gonna look. I think his feet are gonna be floating. Oh, okay. Sims can use that, I, I guess. I have no idea that Sims can use that. That's really cool, actually. I had no clue. So they can use the bed. Um, Can he use the bathtub? Yep, he can use the bathtub. Ah, I'm so glad you like it. It's base game only too, I'm so excited. He can use the sink. Can you wash your hands? He can wash his hands. 
modern it is it is i know it was really 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 weird for me to be doing modern oh okay sorry dennis he's peeing um we know that he can use the countertops up here but let's try to cook something in this kitchen let's try a hamburger cake and see what happens all right he can use the fridge he can turn around he can prepare on the countertop but the next question is, can he use the kitchen? We're going to find out. Or the stove. Right? Kind of <laughs> got him running down to the counter, right? I know. I'm like, oh my God. I would freak out if he did that. Be like, why are you choosing to do this? <gasps> no! This is my beautiful... You are the worst playtester ever. Extinguish it! You freaking idiot. Oh my God. Well then... Um, that's a thing. Freaking rude. I'm gonna have him clean the floor as well. Just so like when we upload this that you guys don't like have everything here. This is ridiculous. At least I didn't burn everything. All right, so when you guys download this house, just remember Dennis um, started a fire because Dennis is the worst. I'm gonna have him go try, wait, oh my God, did it really? That destroyed my easel in like two seconds flat. That's ridiculous. I'm going to have him do like a classic painting. What the frick? Okay, so he can paint. Seriously, so rude. It destroyed so many things so quickly. So he can use everything on this top floor. He can use everything on the second floor. He can use everything on the bottom floor. I think that we're good, actually. How? Able to use it? Yes. How to use it? Absolutely not, right? <laughs> That's so funny. All right, y'all. We are done officially with the Spencer Kim Lewis house. This is exciting. Oh my God. How many bedrooms and bathrooms do we have? Okay, let's count. We have one bathroom. Two bathrooms, one bed, we have one bathroom, two, so that's two bedrooms, three bathrooms now, and then we have one, two, so this is a five bedroom, um, One, two, four bedroom, or four, one in the master. Oh my God, that's right. Okay, wait, we got to start over. So I'm going to do bathrooms. We're going to do bathrooms first. One, two, three, four five, six, six bathrooms, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six baths and how many bedrooms? We've got one for Dennis, two for Vivian, three for the other one and then four. So four baths, we have so many. Six bathrooms, four beds, or wait, six beds, or six bathrooms, four bedrooms. This is ridiculous. Um, uh, yep, uh, six baths, four beds. That's a lot. Like, what the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna go into the gallery and I'm gonna steal my description of some of my modern builds, or some of my, like, thing that I have. I can't remember exactly what it was. The thingy. Um... 
uploads because like I have a certain way that I write things when I do the uploads for the save file. Um, so I'm going to take this. Look at that. Oh, my God. 201 downloads on that. That's nuts. You guys are so cool. Thank you for that. My high school. That high school is wild. Oh, my God. All right, Charlotte. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. All right. So we got six baths. Or six bedroom. Oh, wait, no, shoot. Four bedrooms, six bathrooms. There we go. Um, So this is a basic only renovation of the Spencer Kim Lewis household. Okay, um, it features modern, earth, earthy aesthetic and contains a space that resembles each Sim's personality. I'm going to hashtag all these things so you guys can look it up. Um, I don't know, like... I think that's it. There we go. I'm just keeping the it's Cypress Terrace because that's what it was called. So there you go. There. That's what you guys got. Yay! See? It's, we got the holiday pack and I think it's only that little... I think there's like maybe some candles and then there was like that rug. But you guys can get that for free. Almost everyone has it. Mimo, yes oh my god i cannot believe that we finally finished this i wonder how many parts this took for me to do give me a moment here let me look under like the goth mansion oh my god that would be so fun to do though so difficult i want to do like a small house next though for sure holy crap that was so big Hold on, let me find it. Uh, I gotta find my recording thingy. Here we go. I have so much editing down to do. Um, all right. So that... Spencer Kim Lewis. I don't even know, like, oh, here it is. Holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's nine parts. Oh, a house on Mount Komorebi. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Both. That's so funny. <laughs> Mount Komorebi. Yes, that would be so cool. Hi, right, Gamer Mom? Oh, my God. This was such a big one. We did nine parts on this bad boy. Like nine different streams I had to do. Kyber's doing good. Thanks for asking. Oh, we did it. Oh my God. Y'all, this is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe that we finally freaking finished something. This is ridiculous. Like, holy crap. Land grab. Oh my God. I don't even want to think about it. I could like vomit thinking about the land grab mansion. I'm honestly like envisioning a lot of like black and white like all black and white like almost like a monochrome style like build there for real like everything feels like really stifly and really like uh you know in the land grab mansion like that's my idea of it but y'all thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today um i'm gonna be back at like noon central time tomorrow 
So I'll be playing The Sims 4 again for a few hours. And then, so for three hours, and then I'm going to play Among Us for three hours after that. So I hope you guys will come visit me. I know I would buy an expansion pack for Mount Kemkaladurnal <laughs> Same. But thank you so much, you guys, for coming and hanging out with me. I really appreciate you. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Um, I'll be back at like noon central and I'll be live with Among Us and The Sims 4. Well, we might do like the 100 baby challenge for a few hours tomorrow. I'll see what I'm feeling. We might start a new renovation and I'm going to need your guys' help voting on that. Otherwise, maybe 100 babies. We'll see. And Among Us, it's going to be a good time. But thank you guys for coming and hanging. Um, We're going to go on a raid. I want to go say hi to my friend Griffy. Griffy raids us. Um, and they're working on a base game Victorian. So if you want some cute building vibes, we're going to go say hi to Griffy. But I love you. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me on this fine, beautiful day. I know Among Us is so great. I'm so excited. So um, if you guys have a sub, make sure to copy and paste the Beanie Weenies incoming. Otherwise, the little hand hearts will do. Just make sure to tell Griffy that I sent you. Um, So they're working on a modern Victorian and their builds are so cozy and so fun. Like always, they always do like the best job. So you guys are going to love it. Um, So we're going from like base game modern stuff to like base game Victorian. And I'm here for it, honestly. So I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. I love you. And as I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. So make sure to follow me on, uh, wait, hop into Discord and stuff. I messed it up. I messed it up. It's fine. Hop into Discord, follow me on other social media pages. I'm going to go work on like voiceovers and stuff. So I can't wait to see you. I love you. Um, I'm going to do it again. So as I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. So I will see you later. Boop. I love you. Bye. Let's go say hey to Griffy. So, so.